it will be the 2004 it has been written is 2024 and the third page is the to the plaintiff and or their authorized representatives last part on part of last line plaintiff now other relevant documents to the uh, plaintiffs and or their authorized people. why why authorized people uh, the plaintiff as the members ha uh, member is the member how the authorized people shall be in the I, society yes the matter is listed as to be mentioned for correction of the order dated 4th april 2020 in the second page of the order at the first line the year is mentioned as 2004 instead of 24 24 instead of 2024 thus in the order dated Fourth April, twenty twenty-four. In this, at page number two, first line, the year shall be read as two thousand twenty-four instead of two thousand. Mm -hmm. This also may be incorporated with the order dated fourth April, twenty twenty-four. Yes, I'd like to ask kind leave to mention a lot of upon notice to the other side a lot of. Uh, when you issued the notice, Lord Chief. When you issued notice, Lord Chief. Uh, uh, notice it, of mention when you notice. Lord Chief, it was issued on ninth. Yes. Then, uh, Lord Chief, uh, there was a direction by the honourable court, Lord Chief, that the police to be served. Police will serve the copy of Lord Chief and put file a report. So, unless the matter is listed, Lord Chief. Okay. To be mentioned. Similar, yeah, Lord Chief. Another matter is there, Lord Chief. Uh, here, the advocate was served. Now, the police were supposed to be uh, file a report, uh, Lord Chief. The similar order was passed, so both the applications can appear, Lord Chief. Take this. To be mentioned. Today, we are on 15, no? 18. To be on 12. 18. Mm -hmm. On 18th, sir. Yes. Lakshmi, may I kind leave to mention one matter? I have mentioned the matter of 19th March 2024. This is the non-commercial matter. Lordship is was pleased to fix the matter on 28th March 2024 under the heading of to be mentioned, but the matter is not appearing in the list. I am uh, praying to um, list Why the matter. Why to be mentioned? My lord, it, uh, issues has been framed. Uh, in, inspection has been done. Mm. That's why my lord this is said the matter is uh, appearing in the so for what if issues as a friend inspection has been done might be in witness action my lord it is fixed on witness action yes when it is fixed no uh, this is not fixed it not was uh, my lord directed to fix the matter on twenty eighth March but it is not uh, listed not listed my lord okay take it eighteenth as to be mentioned. Great, yes. my lord. Anything? Well, may I say listed matter? My lord, item number seven, my lord. Huh? Item number seven, my lord. Listed matter, you know, I am not taking a listed Malad, matter as mention. There are yesterday, my lord, corrected the other my lord, some some practical error, my lord, wrongly appeared in the. Huh? Wrongly appeared in the, my lord. There are yesterday, my lord, some corrected. Which one? Non-commercial list. ट्वेंटी 24 24 march why you not applied for early start and give this yeah that is the matter i am for the respondent yes why to be mentioned 
we have been given the notice the matter will appear under the heading to be mentioned my lord who has given the notice who has issued the notice obhirup chakraborty my lord advocate for the applicant item number 1 being taken up yes yes i am appearing as the appellant yes yes it's a matter that has been transferred from the ipab Uh, it's a uh, appeal from uh, arising out of the refusal of the grant of patent so why it is men mentioned the matter why it is mentioned has to be why it is mentioned why you have mentioned the matter we have mentioned the matter before your lordship on 22nd of march and your yes. lordship had been gracious enough to get it listed on the 12th of april under to be mentioned head ah uh, so why why you wanted We want the hearing of the appeal to be done, Your Lordship. So it is to be fixed for hearing. Yeah, we are requesting that you kindly fix it for hearing, Your Lordship. Correct. Yes. Have you received the notice? Have you received the notice? Have you received the notice? So and so. The respondent has received it. Yes, yes. So and so, so and so appearing for the petitioner. So and so, so and so appearing for the respondent. The matter is listed as to be mentioned on the prayer made by the counsel for the petitioner. Counsel for the petition submitted, and I pray for fixing the matter for. The counsel is submitted made by the counsel for the respective parties. List the matter on seven May twenty twenty four under the heading adjourn motion. Seven May. Yes, seventh May. Much obliged, Your Lordship. Great. Lord, I am. Can we fix the time, Your Lordship? Ah, oh, into commercial division, it will be taken. Lord, I am asking for the petitioner, hmm. Mr. Sen Gupta is leading me. Lord, he is online. Uh, Your Lordship, I am for the appellant in this matter. Yes. Today, Your Lordship, is the date fixed for admission of an appeal. Ah, uh, Lordship, there are certain delays, Your Lordship, in this matter. If Your Lordship kindly takes the appeal once, Lordship, the the first impugned order was passed on fifteenth of November twenty nineteen. Fifteenth November. Fifteenth November twenty nineteen. Yeah. That is at page forty. Thereafter, we filed a review application, and the review application was finally disposed of on eighteenth of August twenty twenty. That is at page forty three. Now. Eighteenth August, twenty twenty. Forty three years. Now, hey, Lord, Lordship, kindly uh, appreciate. Eighteenth August, twenty twenty. At that point of time, that COVID period was going on, and the Honorable Supreme Court extended the period. Your Lordship till twenty twenty eighth February and has also given a buffer of ninety days. That your Lordship paragraph, your Lordship, I have pleaded. Yes, we have pleaded your lordship in page uh, paragraph sixty nine, page thirty two. Yes, the above mentioned order was passed during the COVID period, and the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of such and such extended the period of limitation and passed various orders from time to time, and ultimately with the order dated ten, the Honorable Supreme Court of India disposed of the miscellaneous application. Number such and such arising out of along with the following directions. Now, if your lordship kindly takes <clears throat> lordship one and three, in lordship uh, kindly takes sub clause C in case where the limitation have expired during the period between fifteenth March till twenty eighth of February twenty twenty two, notwithstanding the actual balance period. Remaining, all persons shall have a limitation of ninety days from first March twenty twenty two. Correct. So this comes here, Lordship, till twenty seventh of May twenty twenty two. Correct. And thereafter, your Lordship, this appeal has been filed on tenth of July twenty twenty three. Yes. Lordship, from tenth uh, from twenty seventh May twenty twenty two till tenth of July twenty twenty three is around three hundred and seven days delay. But your lordship, I have explained the delay from paragraph seventy. Your lordship is an Italian-based company. Para seventeen seventy onwards, 
is a Italian based company and your lordship thereafter your lordship it's it took time your lordship to come to lordship Kolkata and finally lordship we provide this appeal. Yes. So let the note you let the notice be issued. Let the other side come. Lord Shri Mr. Singhania was appearing on the last occasion. Good day, Lord Shri. Nobody is here. Have you served the notice as per the order dated 4th August? Yes, Your Lordship. We have served the notice and Your Lordship is... Where is the affidavit of service? Affidavit of service is also Your Lordship, I think, ready, Mr. Das, Your Lordship has added away. Yes. Lordship, I am appearing on behalf of the respondent. Uh, Mr. Singhania is out of station. Kindly keep it after a week. Yes, they are asking. We have intimated. Sensor, sensor, appearing for the appellant. Sensor, sensor, appearing for the respondent. Police of counsel for the appellant has filed affidavit service showing the service of notice upon the respondent let the them be kept with the record counsel for the respondents race for time that is allowed let the matter appear on 9th may 9th may come on that day lots of grateful My lord, uh, my suit item number three. My lord, I have my lord, uh, on behalf having of some money claim now in A to the suit, my lord, we have filed an application under order 13A. My lord, for my lord, that application is not being served upon the complete, my lord. Why is it hurting? Uh, my lord, the matter came up for hearing on my lord, uh, 26th of February before Justice Mukherjee. Now, there was a direction, my lord, to file uh, an opposition to my application by 13th of March. No opposition, my lord, as on date, my lord, is on record. Well, there's some urgency in the matter because my lord, it's an admitted claim. There, we have my lord, an account confirmation with regard to my lord, the amount that has been claimed. My lord, I was humbly praying, my lord, if your lordship kindly takes up the application any day. Because it, since there is an opposition as on date, my lord, I presume my lord, there, they, they don't have, have the copy. Yes, my lord. The affidavit of service is there, my lord. My lord, uh... they appeared on the last day, my lord, occasion also, my lord, before Justice Mukherjee. It was in their presence, my lord, that the order was passed. Yes. May, may I hand over a copy, my lord? My lord, uh, the. Affidavit of service indicates that the service was upon the defendant's address. Now, the defendant's address, there are several offices. And I had intimidated orally to the advocate on record of the plaintiff to serve a copy of this application. Till late, my lord, I have not been served. My lord, I have I, have, I acknowledge the service of the plaint, but not of the uh, application. But on the, what is your good name? My lord, Rishabh Amitan, I was appearing. You, you had appeared on that my day. Lord. You have not taken this plea before this court when the direction was passed. My lord, my lord orally, orally, uh, we did, I did. No, my nothing. Lord. Uh, nothing. Uh, my lord, the court directed them to serve upon them. The matter requires to be heard after offer, uh, affording or the, uh, the dependent to opportunity. The matter process. was mentioned my upon lord. notice also. Okay, yes. my lord. So thereafter, the affidavit in your opposition reply 27 March, in the month of April. My lord, humbly, kindly directs them to serve a copy, my lord. I shall file my opposition within a week, my lord. You asked, asked it from me, my lord. 26th of February is a long time. I did. Uh, my lord, I did, in fact, to the plaintiff, my lord. But the plaintiff refused to serve. Is there anything on record, my lord? My lord. 20, uh, 20th February, it was received. My lord, my, my lord. My lord. I can't go down, my lord. My lord, kindly, my lord, directs them to serve. They have not served, my lord. They have only served the plaint. No, no. A copy of notice of motion. My lord. Notice of motion with the grounds. Plaint has been served by way of writ of summons, my lord. I don't know what my learned friend is submitting. That is with regard to the, this is the, your client has received. 
my postal address my lord upon instructions my lord my client did receive the plane my lord my lord it's yes, my lord but the issue is my lord it's since 26 february they're sitting on it it's an admitted claim my lord um, even okay, if whatever it may be let's take even number even if it's an extended number. my lord lordship will kindly give as short dates as possible yes, my lord my lord so that my lord the copy once copy oh, copy as it Let him, my lord, uh, write to my advocate to record, my lord, in that event. Sir, 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 preparing for the plaintiff, sir, sir, sir. My lord, my lord, uh, one innocuous prayer, my lord, kindly pause, passes a direction upon them, my lord. My lord, I have chased sir, 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 the advocate on record for the plaintiff. I have not received the copy. Sir, 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 preparing for the defendant. Full stop. Uh, by an order dated twenty six February twenty twenty four, in the presence of the learned advocate for the defendant, this court has passed direction upon the respondent. Defendant to file a written opposition and affidavit in reply. If any, the mean uh, affidavit in opposition by thirteenth March twenty twenty four, comma affidavit in reply by twenty seventh March twenty twenty four. Counsel for the plaintiff submitted that in spite of the direction passed by this court, no affidavit is filed. Counsel for the defendant. Submit that that he has not received the copy of the application filed by the defendant plaintiff under order thirteen Roman thirteen, thirteen A of the Code of Civil Procedure and press for direction upon the plaintiff to serve the copy of the application to the defendant. Though there is a though. This court, by an order dated twenty six February twenty twenty four, in presence of the learned counsel for the defendant, has passed direction for filing affidavit. But on the said date, the defendant has not read before this court that the copy has not been served. But today, the defendant has taken a different stand. This court finds that. One further opportunity should be given to the defendant to file affidavit. Given to the defendant to file affidavit in opposition. The plaintiff is directed to so a copy to the copy of the application to the defendant. How soon? Today, in course of the day. Yes, sir. In course of the day. The defendant is directed to file affidavit in opposition within a week. For my reply, if any, they are to be filed within a week thereafter. So this the matter for yes, hearing. Well, uh, Lord, should we kindly? I have an extra copy. I'm handing it over here now. Then, my Lord, should we kindly record it? Consul for the plaintiff has handed over the copy of the application along with the documents to the learned counsel for the defendant in the open court. Let the matter appear on thirty of April, twenty twenty-four, under the heading of John Motion. Next, publish. Well, I am for the defendant, my lord. But I do not know why it is being released because, my lord, this is a matter of twenty. Huh? Lordship, I am for the plaintiff. No, this one also. Oh, my lord, is that your instance? Then I am not aware, my lord. I, I am not. Aware. I don't know why it's coming up for release, my lord. I don't know. But last order has been passed by the Supreme Court, my lord. The appeal has been disposed of, Malad. They have preferred an appeal, Malad. But it's a simplicity of money claim, Malad, where my my client had taken the point that this was a jama kharchi, Malad. Very strange defence taken by a defendant. In my experience in twenty five years, Malad, this is the first time I have found a defendant came up and said that this is a jama kharchi. The court ordered the income tax department to investigate and file a report. In that, Malad. From that order, Malad, an appeal was preferred from their Supreme Court. Now, Malad, the Supreme Court has disposed of that SLP, Malad, by this order. And after that, Malad, Dida. On first March, Malad, this order was passed by the erstwhile interlocutory court, Malad, where Malad certain questions had been framed for the department and both my learned friends, client and me, Malad. 
Espera que eu copio aqui. Eu copio aqui. Olha que eu copio aqui, eu escuti. É cada vídeo, é cada vídeo. Copia uma coisa assim. Colete, colete. So why it is true? Uh, really, it's what I could not understand. But your lordship, uh, we, your lordship, we only mentioned the matter for early hearing. Your lordship, we. No, why it is uh, listed as release? Who? Oh. Hmm? Give the slip who has given the mention slip. Oops. Why it is for release? Who has mentioned for release? Well, we have not mentioned. They have mentioned for their saying for uh, early, early hearing. Well, I don't know about it. I was not aware. Okay, the report has come from the department. Well, it. Rate of someone was sought. But none appears, no, nor the written statement is filed by the dependent. You are appearing for? The dependent, mother. From the report, Rajeshi, it, it appears that the dependent has not entered appearance either in person through the advocate. Ledger maintained by the current record department does not show any filing of written statement by the dependent. And uh, one duplicate copy of the rate of summon along with the copy of the print was served upon the authorized signature of the dependent on 24 2022 <laughs> So now ball is in your hand. I don't have any ball with it at the moment, man. considering it's a commercial suit. Man. Yes. Let us see, man. What can be done? What is our speed air? Your Lordship, uh, I have instruction. Are you opposing an extension? Uh, no. He doesn't oppose. What your is that instruction? Your Lordship, uh, I have been only instructed if the matter was to be released, then... Uh, your Lordship, uh, so your that's Lordship. why I'm asking why it is to be released. Then I will release. There is some some reason. Your Lordship, so after going to... through the record, I didn't find any personal reason from the of this court. Yes, Your Lordship. Your Lordship how it has come as if to be released in the mentioning matter? But he's not opposing my filing of written statement, Malik. But this to be see why it is for release. Date wise, you why you're not keeping the mentioning list? Yeah, hey, Lordship, uh, another thing, uh, Lordship, uh, another case, your Lordship, CS uh, 41 of 2022 is also being heard with this matter. Your Lordship, uh, the yeah. plaintiff and the defendants are uh, same, your Lordship. 41 so CS41. Sorry, CS40 of 2022. Ah, yeah. that is released from this court. No, your lordship. 40 41. Any order passed by this court? Is by it, me? It, 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 it. By me or, or Justice Mukherjee? Yes, your lordship. Uh, it was being heard by your, by, uh, your lordship, uh, Justice Arindu Mukherjee. Yeah, so, any part heard? Last order. There are two J's in CS41. Yeah, no, no, KLG They have a KP. KP credit. KP credit. KP credit. Do you know KP credit? Same person. Same person. It's the 41. 41. 41. So now what is your prayer? Well, for extension of time to file my written statement. The matter is listed as to be mentioned, but in the cause list, it is mentioned as for release. 
but this court has not found any order that this court has fixed the matter any order that this court has fixed the matter for release full stop In terms of the order, in compliance of the order dated 1st March 2024, comma, the registrar or return site had submitted report dated 30th March 2024, where it, it is informed to this court that a writ of summon upon the defendant A writ of summon along with the copy of the print was served upon the authorized signatory of the defendant on 24th August 2022. As well as the writ of summon along with the copy of the print also okay. served upon the defendant okay. Okay. through postal service on 22nd August 2022. It is also mentioned that the defendant has not entered appearance either in person through the advocate till 8th March 2024 and as per the record maintained by the current record department, no written statement has been filed. Let the report be kept with the record. Consul for Mr. Anirban Rain and advocate appearing for the defendant raised for extension of time to file written statement. Consul for the defendant is no objection for extension of time to file written statement. Let written statement be filed within two weeks. Ballot. Within two weeks. Please the matter on. Your Lordship, uh, yes, your Lordship, I'm being led by your Lordship, uh, uh, uh Council Suresh Sani, your Lordship, he will be due to some personal difficulties. He's in uh, Raipur, your Lordship, he will be uh, coming on the 30th April, okay. 30th April. So I'm fixing on 2nd May, second May. your Lordship, uh, uh, your Lordship, 3rd May, your Lordship, 3rd May, 3rd May is only day, yes, yes, 3rd May. Your Lordship, uh, the uh, CS case number 40 also be kept together. They were being taken up together, yes, same questions, Manut, and same parties. It, it is Manut. informed by the learned counsel for the respective parties. The connected case being CS number 40. 40, 40 of 24. Yes, Manut. 2022. 20, 22, your Lordship. CS number 2022 is also required to be listed along with CS number 41 of 2022. And I'll file my written statement also, Manut, within that time, Manut. In view of this, let the file come first. Pilot. Let and the department is directed Absolutely. to place Absolutely. the record of CS 40 of 2022 along with CS 41 of 2022 before this court on 3rd May 2024. Very grateful to your Lord Shimon. Much obliged, your Lord my yes. Well, in a suit for unpaid price of goods sold and delivered, this is the plaintiff's application for judgment upon admission, where pleadings are complete. My lord, I am for the defendant. My lord, I am laid by Mr. Oyan Dattu. My lord, I am paying for not today. My lord. What is the application? J one. Yes, J one. It's for judgment upon admission. Lord, may I make my submissions today, my lord? J one. Pleadings completed. Pleadings complete. Yes, they have some difficulties and it is meant to be mentioned, sir. This letter is to be mentioned. I am fixing it. Well, possibly it is. It was to be mentioned on the last occasion. But uh, no, it was. Your Lordship was pleased to direct by 14th uh, March 2024 order that it was wrongly appearing as uh, ordinary original civil jurisdiction should have appeared under the commercial entity. And kindly see you know, the last uh, paragraph of my Lord's 12th, 14 March order. Why it is listed as uh, in the to be mentioned because the court is. Huh. Then uh, it was the director to place before the commercial department. 
Hmm, but to be mentioned, why to be mentioned all the matters we keep? Yes. Malak, when I your senior saying... will be available? Next week, my lord. But I I normally do not oppose any edge, but but still man, it's a it's an admitted claim and I can make my submission, but very well. Any day, my lord, your lordship. So and so, so and so appearing for the plaintiff, so and so, so and so appearing for the defendant, full stop. Plaintiff has filed an application praying for judgment on admission. Full stop. Counsel for the uh, it is fine from the record. Readings have been completed and matter is ready for hearing. Counsel for the defendant takes for time. In view of the submission made by the counsel for the defendant, let the matter appear on 30th. 30th April. He is saying next week, my lord. Next week, any day, my lord. Next. Let it be there in the list in the usual cost. Yes. We shall we shall take the chance, my lord. 18th April. Grateful. Under the heading adjourn motion. Grateful. My lord, item number six, my lord, I appear for the respondent number one. This my lord matters being mentioned at my instance. Lord, on the last occasion, my lord, the previous bench, my lord, recorded my lord, the parties who are attempting a settlement. The court had directed us to send them a photograph. We send them, it has been accepted by them. I am my lord led by Mr. Bachawat. Lord, yesterday I was informed, my lord, that now they apparently want something more. My lord, that information, my lord, is with my senior. And my lord, their senior also, my lord, Mr. Ghosh was appearing for the plaintiff. Both of them, my lord, due to some personal difficulty, had to go out of station. But I'm seeking whether the matter can be kept next week, my lord. Both of them will be back. They can, my lord, the matter could be settled out. Yes, Mr. Adelji. I am appearing with Mr. Mason for respondent numbers two and three. They are, my lord, intermediaries. They are really, my lord, not affected one way or the other. You are for the printing. I am, my lord, for the respondent number one. Yes. He's also. What is the instruction? My lord, uh... Kindly, kindly keeps this uh, a week later so that uh, all the matter will be keep later one week. Then what the court will do today? Monday, my lord. Sons, sons, appearing for the plaintiff. Sons, sons, appearing for the defend number one, and sons, sons, appearing for the defend number two and three. As per the prayer made by the counsel for the plaintiff, the case that John, let the matter appear on 29th April. 29th April, under the heading to uh, John motion. Next. Could we have my lord an earlier date, my lord? Huh? lord could we have my lord an earlier date? I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm appearing for the plaintiff, lord. The matter was mentioned by defendant. My lord, my lord uh, the plaintiff had preferred a section 15 application for transfer of the suit to the commercial division. They have served us with a copy of the re-verified plaint. On 12th March 2024, uh, leave was granted to the defendant to verify re-verify our written statement. My Lord, I'm praying for two weeks' time to re-verify our plaint. Uh, of uh, our it is a commercial matter. My Lord, it, it is a was converted matter. into a commercial suit, my Lord. Uh. The plaint has been re-verified, reaffirmed, my Lord. Correct. They are seeking extension. They have already filed a written statement, my Lord. Correct. They want to perhaps file additional written statement, my Lord. Lord, my lord, we need to transfer our written statement to the commercial division. You have to take steps. Uh, my lord, uh, I need the leave from the court to uh, re-verify the... Have you taken all the steps? Have you filed all the <laughs> statement of truth? Lord, of... We have complied with everything. They have complied. We have served complied. us with the have copy. Yes, copy. Yes, we have served them also, my lord. Two weeks time is granted to the defendant to re-verify, reaffirm and re-verify the written statement. <laughs> to some... But you have not done so. No, my lord. No, my lord. So and so, so and so appearing for the plaintiff. Today is fixed for framing of issues. You are not complete. 24th is the date for 12th March. When we found so and so, so and so appearing for the plaintiff. So and so, so and so appearing for the defendant. For the counsel for the defendant prays for extension of time to comply with the order dated 12th March 2024. No, get it. Counsel for the defendant submit that the defendant has filed written statement accordingly. Defendant requires some time to comply with the provisions of the Commercial Court Act. 
after the transfer of the case from the ordinary, ordinary division to this court. Consider the submission made by the counsel for the defendant. To comply the provisions of the Commercial Court Act is extended for a further period of two weeks. Yes. Two weeks. By the they will serve amended by the defendant. Let the matter appear on 30th April. Grateful man. In the meantime, they let them serve. Uh, we will serve comply with it, then they automatically. Next. This is my uh, suit, my lord. Uh, this is an undefended suit, my lord. I completed certain submissions and I was supposed to file a note. The only thing is, my lord, the advocate, or the person of the advocate, my lord, he is not keeping well, my lord. And could I get one more week, my lord, because he has suddenly been taken ill, my lord. As per the prayer made by the counsel for the plaintiff, time to file written notes of argument is extended for a further period of one week. <laughs> this is the matter. One week. Yes, yes. This is the matter on 22nd April 2024 under the same heading for filing written notes of argument. We are trying to incorporate the cost sheet also, man, because we're seeing a, being a commercial matter. So the cost also has to be... <laughs> But yes, Mother, nowadays, Mother, that is why the commercial suit, Mother. That is a commercial. So, Mother, that is why Mother will take. Okay. Yes. 22nd. Huh? Under the heading to be mentioned, heading written notes. Yes, next. Three. 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 Yes. This is an application for your lordship for recalling of an order your lordship has been by suit has been by GA GA has been dismissed for default and for rest restoration of the interim order. And the last occasion your lordship on 22nd March 2024 directed me your lordship to serve again to the learned counsel for the defendant number one and two. And we have done it your lordship. My advocate on record is there. Your lordship can, she can hand over. Yes. When it, it was, was time, when it was, it, was it was dismissed on fourth of your know, lordship fourth March twenty twenty four, and within thirty days your know, lordship we have filed your know, lordship this restoration application. Yes, Mr. Delhi. Any objection for restoration? Yes. I this is your lordship. This is between the court and the plaint, uh, the plaintiff. I I don't have any comments to make. I'm appearing for defendant three. Senses and suffering for the plaintiff. Senses and suffering for the defendant. The plaintiff has filed the present application, being GA Com six of twenty twenty four, praying for a recalling of the order dated fourth March twenty twenty four. Wherein this court has what is dismissed? Suit or in application? The only injunction oh, application has been dismissed. You will see. Wherein this court has dismissed J one of twenty twenty three. For default, <laughs> counsel for the plaintiff submitted the application was dismissed for default. The order for dismissal of default was passed on. For dismissal of default was passed on fourth March twenty twenty four, and immediately on fourth March fourteenth March twenty twenty four, the plaintiff had filed the present application for recalling of the order and restoration of. G1 of 2020. Consider the submission made by the Council for the plaintiff for use the application. This court satisfied that the plaintiff has shown sufficient cause for non appearance of the plaintiff on the date fixed. Accordingly, order dated 4th March 2024 is recalled. G1 of 2023 is restored in its original file. This GA number six of twenty twenty four is disposed. 
Lordship only one thing, your Lordship will be in any order was there, your Lordship on 12th of July 2023. Let hmm. it be reinstated, your Lordship. That, that is, is page 10. So the application being J1 of 2023. Oops. An application and the injunction order passed by this court dated 12th July 2023 is reinstated. I'm grateful. Reinstated. Obliged. <clears throat> Let CS now CS comma five zero three of twenty twenty four along with GA one of twenty twenty three be listed on second May twenty twenty four under the agenda. I'm, grateful. I'm grateful. I'm for the plaintiff petitioner, you Roger. Yes. This is my application for injunction, attachment before judgment, and judgment upon admission, you Lordship. The but transaction. Time, no, no, I'm praying right. for some urgent relief, Your Lordship. May I proceed with the matter? Application for judgment on admission. What is urgent? Relief? Judgment upon admission is not the aspect. I'm asking for security and attachment before judgment and injunction, Your Lordship. Because the financial position of the respondent uh, I'm showing is imperiled, Your Lordship. It will render the entire process nugatory. So allow me to proceed with my matter, director. Yes. This transaction was for supply of iron ore mineral from a particular mine. I'm one of the leading manufacturer of sponge iron in the state. And I had entered into a contract, entered into an arrangement for supply of iron ore mineral. The respondent was a lessee of a particular mine in Orissa, Sulepath mine. And uh, apropos this arrangement, the understanding was that purchase orders would be placed from time to time. I will pay advance in lieu thereof, supplies would be made and a running and continuous course of business was maintained between the parties. Now, the first purchase order was placed on 7th of February 2018 and the last purchase order was placed on 25th of October 2021. Now, upon first was, first was? 7th of February 2018 and the last was 25th of October 2021, your lordship. Yes. And at the end of this transaction, it was found that there is a net balance payable of rupees 6.20 crores. 6.20. I had made advance, excess advance. In lieu thereof, supply was made upon taking into account, upon giving credit for supplies made, a net amount of 6.20 was pay due and payable. Now I addressed a demand saying that please pay me or supply me. In the conspectus of these demand, your lordship an admission was made. A categorical admission. Your lordship will kindly take page 28 of my application. Yes. Lordship has found page 28. Now, your Lordship will kindly see page 28. It is perhaps not so legible. 28A is the typed copy. 28 capital A. Your Lordship has found? Yes. Your Lordship will kindly read. BC Dagra. This is the defendant. To Director Shakambari Ispat, Bravo Sponge and Iron. Bravo is the plaintiff in item number 10. Shakambari is the plaintiff in item number 11. Identical matter. Dear sir, this is to inform you that principal amount of 6.20 crores on account of Messrs. Bravo, Sponge and Iron and principal amount of so and so on account of Shakambari is part plus interest accrued thereon on all the advance paid are lying with us. We are pleased to inform you that we leave received all the necessary clearances to operate our Sulepath iron ore mines from various agencies, government of Orissa, and we can start the dispatch of iron ore from our mines soon. We wish to inform you that we have also applied for obtaining re-permission of so-and-so, which is pending for dispatch against earlier permission number so-and-so. We are in urgent need of some fund to start mining operations and dispatches. We therefore request you to kindly arrange to transfer rupees 60 lakhs. Only as advance to us in addition to above said advance for us to government dues, viz, did, and number so and so, so that we can get the mining permission to state that dispatches of iron ore to your companies. We are also assuring you that all the iron ore will be dispatched to your company only upon resumption of dispatches from our Sulepit iron ore mines till all your advances lying with us along with interest accrued upon get suggested. Complete unequivocal acknowledgement, admission of the fact that 6.20. This letter has been sent by whom? The defendant. BC Dagra. 
mine owner okay sent by the defendant now your lordship thereafter subsequently we paid 60 lakhs we said that fine you make make the supply again defaulted no supply is made now at page 30 once again there is another acknowledgement and this is more telling you lordship page 30 so 60 uh, 60 lakh again you transferred yes yes then 29 is the uh, communication showing that the transfer was made Correct. thereafter at page 30 your lordship again your lordship will kindly take defendant's letter dated 23rd of september 2022 Dear sir, with reference to our long outstanding dues towards your company's addressed above again supply of iron ore, I am to say that a table discussion was held on twenty first September between Mr. So and so and B C Dagra and Devabrata Dagra at Rathika Resort, Bhubaneswar. As discussed earlier over this issue, please bear with us some more time. That is at least one month from the date of this letter for settlement of of the matter. In the meantime. we are trying to seek the dispatch permission from government soon after permission is received from the mining department we will supply you the materials as agreed earlier otherwise we shall refund the outstanding dues within a period of 1 month from this date further i am to say that if i fail to supply or refund the amount as proposed installments wise payment will be done on mutual discussion after 1 month absolutely categorical unequivocal admission of the outstanding dues continuous course of uh, business between the parties and this is the net outstanding and if i can't make the dispatch within one month period i will pay refund the entire money thereafter no refund made we addressed uh, the plaintiff addressed demand notice demanding the entire outstanding 6.20 plus 660 plus interest Yeah. The demand notice it is at page thirty two, your lordship, April seventeen two thousand twenty three. What was the amount total claimed? The total amount claimed was your lordship six point eight zero. Yes. Then thereafter, your lordship, nothing, no, uh, no payment. I have attached the ledger. Now, what is the urgency? I am coming to the urgency at this stage. Now, in so far as this defendant is concerned we find that each of the group companies of the defendant are being struck off one by one from the roc i have given the page number second more telling these sulepath iron ore mines supply from which is the subject matter of the proceeding has stopped operating it has become non operational your lordship will kindly take two three pages to show that the financial substratum of the defendant itself today is imperiled and if some protection is not granted to me there is every chance that a decree in the matter will be in, in, in entirely infructuous entirely nugatory your lordship will kindly take bc industries at page 5152 your lordship 51 your lordship sees one bc industries Yes. At fifty-two, the status of the company, company name, BC Industries Private Limited, company status, strike off. Where it is? Fifty-two, the third row, page fifty-two, from top the third row, your lordship. Yes. BC Industries struck off now. Kindly takes your lordship. Kindly takes page fifty four. Lordship sees who are the directors. Yes, Bishwa Jaya Dagra, Durga Mother of Dagra, John Me Jaya Dagra, Virat Chandra Dagra, the defendant. It's a defendant's group company. It's a family company owned by the defendant. Your lordship struck off. Now your lordship will kindly take page sixty one, fifty eight, fifty nine. So what what had happened to the directors? Nothing. If the companies are struck off, nothing. Yes, then fifty eight, fifty nine. Your lordship sees this is a company by the name of 
Nabadurga Minerals Private Limited. So how the Nabadurga is connected here? Yes, your lordship. I'm showing that. Page 61. Your lordship sees. Entirely under the control and management of Dagras, including the defendant, BC Dagra. The lordship has found page 61. Yes. John Major Dagra, Birat Chandra Dagra, Dhananjay Kumar Dagra. Your lordship kindly sees one last company, BC Dagra Sons Private Limited. That is at page 64, 65. BC Dagra and Sons Private Limited struck off. No, with regard to that, they are the directors of the city. 67, Birat Chandra Dagra struck off. Now your lordship will kindly take page 70 and 71. 64 is struck off where? 64, 65. Uh, 60, yes. Navdurga and 67 shows the directorship. That it is a company under the control and management of the defendant. Your lordship? Kindly takes page 70 and 71. Status of the Sulepat Mines. See, BC Dagra. 70, 71. Now, your Lordship kindly take 71. Yes. Status. Non-working. Mining operation has been suspended by IBM for non-compliance. Further, necessary clearances from NBWL, CTO, from SPCB, an approved mining plan from IBM is wanting from Lessee. Lessee is the defendant, your lordship. So today, hmm. from the matters in the public domain, it appears that the financial substratum of the defendant stands severely eroded. It also appears that there is every risk of some sort of insolvency. And in that, in that event, I will be rendered completely remedy-less despite having an unimpeachable and unequivocal admission on record. In such circumstance, I'm praying for some protection, Your Lordship. Now, Your Lordship, in so far as this situation is concerned, I think uh, the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court in Rahul Esha perhaps covers me and comes, in, comes to my aid. I will formally cite Rahul Esha, Your Lordship. And this is nothing new. There was a 1991 Calcutta decision, uh, Ghansham Das, which has been referred to in Rahul Esha, which said, in such circumstances, the court can grant some order of security, some order of attachment. Rahul Esha versus Jinindra Kumar Gandhi and others, 2021 6 SCC 418, your lordship. Yes. Your lordship, kindly take straight away. Para 40. And I'll come back to para 25, 26 to just show what was the context. But for the time being, straight away to 40, your lordship. In Ghansham Das Gupta versus Anand Kumar Sinha, this court had observed that provisions of the court as regards execution are of superior judicial quality and what is generally available under the other statutes and judges being the entrusted exclusively with administration of justice is expected to do better. With pragmatic approach and judicial interpretation, the court must not allow the judgment debtor or any person instigated or raising frivolous claim to delay the execution of the decree. For example, this is most important, Your Lordship. And this formally finds a place as direction under 142. For example, in suits relating to money claim, the court may on application of the plaintiff or on its own motion, using the inherent powers under 151, under these circumstances, direct the defendant to provide security before further progress in the suit. Now, your lordship will kindly take para 41, having regard to the above background, wherein there is urgent need to reduce delays in the execution proceedings, we deem it appropriate to issue few directions to do complete justice. These directions are in exercise of a jurisdiction under 142, read with 141 and 144 of the Constitution of India in larger public interest to subserve the process of justice, so as to bring to an end unnecessary ordeal of litigants, litigation faced by parties awaiting fruits of decree. The entire anxiety of the court was that a bona fide decree holder should not be tomorrow rendered completely remedyless. It shouldn't be a paper decree. Now, your lordship will straight away come to 42.7. 
that is the principle that is the direction i'm relying upon in a suit for payment for money before settlement of issues the defendant may be required to disclose his assets on oath to the extent that he is being made liable in the suit now in the in the present matter the liability is unequivocally admitted the court may further at any stage in appropriate cases during the pendency of suit using powers under section 151 of cpc demand security to ensure satisfaction of any decree so in order to safeguard the subject matter of the suit and a decree that may be passed such directions can be granted and in addition there to i have prayed for injunction in the alternative and 385 can be molded what is your prayer my prayer your lordship my prayer is for injunction and or attachment before judgment those are the prayers i'm pressing for c d b c d are my prayers in the suit i had also made a prayer for security and i have shown that the court can mold relief and pass on its own motion an alternative order for deposit of the sum with the court pursuant to the principles enumerated in rahulesha under 151 so they are having the amount of the 6 crore in the bank account which you mentioned in paragraph 34 that we cannot we have furnished the bank account bank account details but we do not know what is the status of the any further yes you lot i'm so sorry any further nothing further and in so far as this is concerned i'll be just elaborate i will just reiterate the fact that in the event we are not in the know how of the status of the assets etc they can be asked first to disclose the extent of assets or they can be asked to deposit and thereafter the court can pass appropriate directions depending on the outcome of this proceeding in so far as judgment upon admission is concerned i cannot press it at this stage because the law is they have to be given an opportunity to explain the admission those are my submissions i would like to make a point of jurisdiction if you want to try to take page 22 page 22 my lord yes not to the can we see my lord that this contract my lord not working Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, my lord. This was off. Mm. Well, if your lordship kindly sees, my lord, the material was to be supplied in Odisha, mm. and the orders are coming from my lord ship to. If your lordship kindly sees the purchase order, it is coming from Purulia. The registered office is mentioned at the top. Mm. P. S. Para near, my lord. It is ill illegible, but it is uh, Purulia, my lord. What I can make out first, my lord. Yes. Second, my lord. Now, with regard to the invocation, my lord, uh, my learned friend has not claimed, my lord. He is relied on a judgment, but there is no specific prayer in the application, my lord, for security, my lord. The judgment will only come into aid, my lord. He is claimed in his plaint, but is in his, in his petition, in his application, he is foregone. He is not claimed for it. For what? My lord, for security. He is citing on a judgment, my lord, but in his petition, the prayer is not there. He specifically left it out. Thirdly, my learned friend wants an attachment of a property which does not belong to the defendant. Your lordship will kindly take my lord page sixteen. My lord, one at paragraph thirty-four, he has mentioned a bank account. Thirty-five, the petitioner has also come to know that the respondent owns an immovable property, plot number twenty, Shahid Nagar, Bhubaneswar. This is not the property of the my lord defendant. You know, this is outside the purview of this matter, my lord. My lord, I was humbly praying if an opportunity may be granted to me, my lord. I have some litigation which is going on with the Odisha government because my license has been suspended with regard to the mining. The writ petition is pending, my lord. That is the difficulty. I will be very candid, my lord, before lordship, okay, my lord. Okay, you maintain the six six point eight zero crore in your account. My lord, may I file my uh, affidavit, my lord? Because I you maintain the account in file affidavit. My lord, may I file my? My lord, if your lordship is uh, pleased to pass a direction to that effect, my lord, let me file my affidavit. Because this is what he has stated as of two thousand twenty-one. After that, whether there's been any supply or not, or whatever has been the final reconciliation of accounts, but I wouldn't say I wouldn't say, my lord, that my lord, yes, he has paid, my lord. But what is the exact quantum as on date? And my lord, I am in also, my lord, uh, in this situation because of some external factors, my lord, which is beyond my control. I will explain everything on affidavit, my lord. I'll. 
whatever it may be, but what, the, what the amount you have admitted that is to be taken care of. In the last admission is of so 2022, is, I have shown you, Dr. That, that is to be taken care of it. How soon you file affidavit? Well, three weeks, my lord. I, then I am passing an order. Well, three, it, my lord, he is 21, he is coming today and my lord, I want three weeks, my lord, because... Yeah, I, I am passing an identity, you maintain the account, amount to in the account in the meantime and you file affidavit, it will be decided on merit. Very well. He has not, my lord, he has not been able to show that what your lordship is proposing as an order in terms of security, which is not trade, my lord. In my account, my lord, the bank account which he has given, my lord, he's, he wants a blanket order. No, no, it's specific it, prayer it, at it, D. It, prayer it, D. It, no, 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 my lord, what I am saying is he wants a blanket order on my bank account, my lord. With regard to blank, that's what I'm telling. Yes, I will disclose everything while my, my, my the bank account, my lord. But he has no knowledge whether the bank account. So in D prayer D is there for siphoning off. So only with regard to the what the admission you have made in your representation to representation, my lord. You ask the amount on the basis of this that you you maintain this account in the uh, in terms of prayer D for the time being. My lord, lordship will kindly pass direction for affidavits, my lord. I'll. Because if you, I'll, I'll disclose if everything. If you can yeah. say within one week you file an affidavit including all the your assets, then I can pass an order. I will, I will grant you one week time and he will get the one week time. You are asking three weeks time. My lord, one week will be, my lord, kindly appreciates. He's, my lord, this defendant is 81 years old. He resides in Odisha, my lord. Again, I will, I will be, my lord, coming and seeking extension, which will also look very bad on my part. But she kindly grants me three weeks. I'll include everything. Whatever direction your lordship passes, my lord. In that event, I'm praying for some protection, your lordship. Because there is an unequivocal admission. That is correct. But 2022 and you came on 2024. 2022 is the last admission. 2023, I have given. There was a mediation. And I had uh, pursued a med mediation. Well, initial and there is no contemporaneous. There is no contemporaneous dispute. As to any of this, the burden of proof. Is only limited to prima facie case at this stage, your lordship. And I've supplied the materials, my lord. 2018, 21, then my lord, there's And after that, there is 6.80 outstanding, admitted. Well, this Some protection. And I am showing, after 2020, I can also show. 2024 is coming and he suddenly wants attachment and he wants security and everything. No, the status that I have disclosed. Three weeks, my lord, which is a reasonable. Your lordship, I'm praying for some protection. Because the documents disclosed shows that there is a problem. Sons are preparing for the plaintiff. Sons are preparing for the defendant. Full stop. Counsel for the plaintiff submits it. It is admitted by the defendant that the defendant is liable to pay rupees 6.80 crore to the defendant. But in spite of the admission, several requests have been made by the plaintiff to the defendant for payment of the amount. But the defendant has not paid the said amount to the plaintiff. Could counsel for the plaintiff further submit that the company of the defendant has already been strike off. And as such, there is every apprehension that the amount which has which are lying with the defendant will be siphoned off. And if an identity mod and if an identity model is not passed, comma, the plaintiff will be badly prejudiced. Counsel for the defendant press for three weeks time to file affidavit in opposition. This could find that that the payment was made. The transaction between the no payment, the transaction between the plaintiff and the defendant was from 2018 to 2022. And now the plaintiff has filed the present application praying for ad entry model. This court of the view, an opportunity should be given to the defendant to file to file affidavit, and this application can be decided only after exchange of the affidavit. Let affidavit in, um, and thus this court is not inclined to pass ad interim order at this stage. Accordingly, the defendant is directed to file affidavit in opposition within three weeks. Reply within one week. Reply if any there to be filed within a week thereafter. List the matter on. <laughs> Good. 
four weeks na three weeks. This is the matter on fourteenth of May, twenty twenty four, under the John motion, under uh, under the heading new motion. One humble submission, your lordship, subject to this fact that this mine has become unoperational has only come to my view. That is the urgency. The urgency is not that it is a long term transaction. Sure. So some protection perhaps can be granted, your lordship. And the is five and the what is the submission? Submission is that the mine. The mines, uh, mines has also been become unop unoperational, unoperational, and that is the urgency, your lordship. Okay. Well, when it became, so, my lord, I also have taken the point of jurisdiction, my lord, your lordship will kindly record my opposition, the, my lord, with the, the point of jurisdiction is kept open. The point of jurisdiction raised by the defendant is kept open. Grateful, my lord. Your lordship Next. is not inclined to grant even injunction, your lordship, at this stage. At this stage, I recorded very well. Very well. It is similar. 11 is identical, your lordship. Identical? Same identical. Words. Great. Defendant petitioner. Yes. I am the defendant petitioner who has filed an application for Order 7 Rule 11 for rejection of suit. What about the settlement? The settlement, lordship, there is no settlement because you are a government body and not ready to settle it. Our it's a very, is, very interesting have... proceeding. The main amount has been paid after a proceeding. Lord, we have got the principal amount. This is this is for the interest component. Now, my lord, they have filed an order seven rule eleven, taking some pointers. But if my learned friends may conclude their submissions today and kindly permit us to make our submissions on the next day, my lord. May I hand over a copy of the plaint if your lordship has the plaint? Otherwise, I have a copy of the plaint because I have sought leave to rely upon the plaint. Lordship, as my learned friend says, the entire amount has been paid. I am an FX Dairy Cooperative Society. It's like Omfed in Orissa and Avin in Tamil Nadu and Mother Dairy in Calcutta. We are all covered by National Cooperative, uh, National Dairy Cooperative Federation of India. So, what had happened? Admittedly, my learned friend carries business in Calcutta and I'm stationed in Bhuneshwar. So the tenders are floated for supply of materials for preparing cattle field for rearing the cattle at Orissa so that the dairy products can be made and supplied. Now tenders are floated. They participate. They image are successful bidders and they awarded the jobs since 2018 to 2019 and 20. A job contract of about 29 crores are carried out. They supply the goods, the products, if I may say so, to Orissa, and entire payments have been made. No dispute to regard to that. And admittedly, in their plain this. What is the claim now? They are claiming 1 crore 99 towards interest against delayed payment of the principal amount, asserting that in their plaint that we have agreed to 24%. If I read as a defendant, it's an allegation without any document. Their assertion in the plaint is that we have admitted, we have received, we have accepted, we have acknowledged, for which reason we are entitled to pay this 24% interest over and above this 29 crores which they have admittedly received. We are saying there was no contract as such, there was no agreement as such between us that I will be paying 24% interest for any delayed payment made. Now, on the, that basis, they file a suit here, present a plaint, annexing the purchase orders which we have raised. They don't implede National Dairy Co Cooperative Federation of India as a party, who is the regulating body of these cooperative societies. And neither they annex the tender documents because my their right and my right flows down from the tender documents because the tender document has to have that Clause of delayed payment for delayed interest, a delay, payment for delayed payment. Now they annex those purchase orders. And they also annex the tax invoices and bill of supplies, which are on the face of it tally sheets, which contain 24% clause. But the original purchase orders which are received by us, against which admittedly we have made payment, 
does not contain that such clause. So the payment was made after filing of the suit or prior to that. The suit is only for the interest. Yes, only for the interest. That's why 711. That's why 7. Because we are saying there is no cause of action. We are saying there is no agreement also. So the purchase orders are the documents which they rely upon. They don't join the National Federation, uh, Dairy Federation as a party. <laughs> they don't rely upon the tender documents. They rely upon their bills of supply and tax invoices, which contain 24%. That is the tally sheets. If you, your lordship has gone through many documents, these are printouts of tally sheets maintained by them. Their own language of the plaint also says so. We don't answer to the legal notices because they claim that we have issued legal notices from Calcutta. We have received monies in HDFC Bank in Calcutta. Though admittedly the goods were supplied in Radha Mohanpur and Jagannathpur in Orissa. Since a legal notice has been issued from Calcutta jurisdiction, that's another part of it. And we also don't participate in a mediation because we are 90% shareholding is of the government of Orissa and rest of the corporate society. Since we have paid it off, we didn't pa don't participate in the mediation 12 way. Now in this suit, Lordship, now may I place the plaint, the reading of the plaint. In the plaint, they annex those documents. I file an orders and rule 11. They seek an opportunity to file their opposition to this orders and rule 11. We file a reply. We are also granted an opportunity to file a supplementary affidavit in respect of orders and rule 11 to bring on the original purchase orders. They reply to that also. The defense to that is we have not pro pro produced the backside of the purchase orders. And those are invoices and tax bills, not the original. They don't say there's not originals. They don't even say they contain the 24% clause. It's not there. Now may I place the plaint here, Lordship, once. Because the plaint, a reading of the plaint will go to show, read with the documents, whether there is an admission or... The plaint, plaint. Lordship, I have Lordship, a photocopy of the plaint, so annex to that, my application also. Document. Which again, that is a document, I think. No, this is a plaint is also there, Lordship. <laughs> A copy of the plaint is also, it's a part of my orders and rule 11 application also. But if the plaint is there, Lord, it's there, Lord. The, the sixth page. Actually, yes. Lord, she may please the, because the plaint says, Pratishta Commercial Private Limited, which has office at Kolkata 1, which is within the jurisdiction of this court, then Orissa State Cooperative Milk Producers Federation Limited, having its office at Sahid Nagar, Bhavaneshwar, outside the efforts of jurisdiction. Or she paragraph 1 declares what they, what, they, what they do. They supply raw materials used for manufacturing cattle feeds. Paragraph 2 says where I am situated at. I carry on business in Bhavaneshwar outside jurisdiction. Actually, paragraph 3 makes an interesting reading. In the years 2018 and 2019, the defendant had issued several purchase orders and his various e-tenders, tender notices. Lordship, then they use the word and national cooperative. It should be off or under National Cooperative Dairy Federation of India through auction platforms of an estimated value of 29 crores. So National Cooperative Dairy Federation of India is not there. And the e-tender notices are all not there. The mother document, which gave them the rights to participate and obtain that order to supply these 29 crores raw materials. For the procurement of raw materials for use in cattle field and in mineral mixture feed, such raw materials interior so and so were supplied. Copies of purchase orders raised by the defendant and accepted the plaintiff is annexed here to and collectively marked with the letter A. Lord she will kindly come to play the photocopy which your lordship it begins at page 13. 13. Lordship. These are the purchase orders, annexure A, issued by me, starts at page 13 till page 29. Lordship will kindly see none of the purchase orders contain the clause 24% interest for delayed payment. What it contains is 100% within 50 days against quality report. These purchase orders don't contain the clause of 24% interest. Yes. Now, Lord Shri, paragraph 4. The defendant had mentioned and provided the required quantities and specifications of such products in the purchase orders. The defendant had emailed the purchase orders to the plaintiff for supply of the required products. 
All the purchase orders were thereafter sent by the defendant to the plaintiff either through post or courier. All purchase orders were received by the plaintiff at its registered office within the aforesaid jurisdiction through emails, courier and post. Lordship, kindly come to paragraph 5. Pursuant to the purchase orders, the plaintiff sold, supplied and delivered the order products at the requested sites at the defendant being Jagannathpur and Radha Damodarpur outside the aforesaid jurisdiction. Now, your Lordship, kindly come to paragraph 6. Here, they try to make out a case whether I have agreed or not. It was mutually agreed and recorded in the purchase orders that 100% payment would be disbursed with respect to the supplies of the products within a period of 50 days. Pursuant to the supplies of the products, the plaintiff raised and submitted the invoices wherein it was recorded that interest at the rate of 24% per annum would be levied on the defendant. Lordship, page 30 onwards is the purchase order, the invoices which is raised. Kindly, your lordship, kindly peruse page 31. This is it starts from page 30 to about 537. Now, this contains an interest clause. This is a tally sheet, lordship. It doesn't bear any signature, stamp, seal of page the 30. home fed. 30 is the first document, lordship. Kindly. Similar documents from page 30 to 537. Lordship, the third column from top interest at the rate of 24% will be charged if payment is not within due date. Where it is? Lordship. This is what they are realizing. This is a tally sheet. This is not the original purchase order. Where, where it is mentioned? Lordship, uh, page 30. Yes, interest 24% will yes. be charged. Yes, Lordship, can you take note of this? This is the document on the basis on the basis of which they are filed the suit saying that I had agreed to pay 24%. Yes. Lordship, kindly come to the paragraph 6 once. Lordship, the specific uh, assertion, all invoices were received, accepted and acknowledged by the defendant without raising any objection or dispute as to the contents or terms of the invoices. Lordship, kindly see this document from 30 onwards till 537. None of the document bears my acceptance or receipt or any acknowledgement. So there is no question or occasion for me to raise any objection to that because the original purchase orders are admittedly cleared. They themselves have said in paragraph 3. No, this, All, is, this is the invoices yes. which you have received. No, these are not the originals. I have brought it on supplementary affidavit. I will show that. Lord. These are not the ones. I have filed a supplementary affidavit pursuant to leave granted by this court and they have also filed a reply to that. Okay. All invoices were received, accepted and acknowledged by the defendant without raising any objection or dispute as to the contents or terms of the invoices. All the invoices were raised and issued and raised from the registered office of the plaintiff within the aforesaid jurisdiction. A copy of the relevant invoices is annexed here to and collectively marked with the letter B. So they said the relevant invoices have been appended to this plaint, which begins at page 30 to 537. Lord, you kindly come to page paragraph 7. The defendant from the very inception of the transactions have failed and neglected to make payments against the invoices within the stipulated period of 50 days as mutually decided and recorded by the parties in the purchase orders. So the first part they are saying is the purchase orders which I have received, which I have issued said 50 days, I have failed to do so. So this is first allegation. Second, the defendant would only make part payments against the issue of invoices, issued invoices. After repeated requests and reminders, in fact, all the invoices raised and issued by the plaintiff with re respect to the procurement of the products have been paid by the defendant much beyond the stipulated period of 50 days. So they admit whatever purchase orders were placed, entirety have been paid, albeit they are saying beyond 50 days. All these payments were received by the plaintiff in its bank account maintained by HDFC Bank, Badabaza branch, Kolkata within the Forces jurisdiction, a chart showing the calculation of the interest on the delayed payments is annexed here to and marked with the letter C. Lord, I'll take you to Lord, the chart they have prepared. The plaintiff on various occasions reminded and requested the defendant to make payment of the outstanding amount towards interest accrued due to payment made beyond the stipulated period of 50 days. All the demand notices were emailed to the defendant. However, despite receipt of the demand notices, the defendant has failed and neglected to pay the interest amount towards liquidation of that contractual liabilities towards the plaintiff. So they are asserting that there is a contract that ex was executed between or entered into between me and them saying that I will pay 24% interest. 
All the demand notices were emailed from the registered office of the plaintiff within the aforesaid jurisdiction. Copy of the electronic mails dated August 9, July 18, 2020, January 6 are annexed here too. Lord Chief, now kindly come to paragraph 9. The plaintiff through its advocate had issued a legal notice dated 17, May 17, 2022, demanding the defendant to make payment of the interest sum amounting to rupees 1999093259 towards their admitted delayed payments to the plaintiff. Lordship, they assert that I had admitted that I will pay 24%. They have to show the document through the plaintiff and the materials on record. The legal notice was issued from the advocate's office at Chaudhary Law Offices, Nikko House, so and so, within the efforts of jurisdiction. The said notice was delivered to the defendant by speed post and was duly served upon the defendant. Despite receipt of the said notice, the defendant had failed and neglected to pay the outstanding dues of the plaintiff towards interest. Copy of the legal notice dated May 17, 2022, along with the copy of the postal receipts are annexed here too. Thereafter, the plaintiff on September 26, 2022, submitted an application for initiation of pre-institution. Lordship, here I did not participate, but the tenor of the documents will go to show it was all along unilateral. In the final me mediation report, they changed their version. They assert again that there was an agreement wherein I had agreed to pay 24%. The mediation consolation was intimated. I did not participate. Paragraph 14 is the prayer for issuance of money decree of 199. Lordship, paragraph 15 is again important. The dues owing to the plaintiff are admitted. So the from the plaint from the plaint and the documents, they have to show that I had admitted this. There was an agreement of 24%. There was an admission on my part, and there was a failure and negligence without any objection raised by me. Lordship, will I kindly come to the plaint and the documents? Lordship, the chart. The interest chart is at page 538, which is C, annexure C, dated 13-5-2022. Please find interest bills raised on delayed payment against material supplied between the period 3-5-18 and 19-9-19 as per details given below. Lordship, admittedly, they are saying the goods were supplied on 3rd of May 2018 till September 19. And the letter is dated 13-5-2022. So if I take their uh, submission, so they are saying, even I did not pay the interest for 18, when was the suit presented? Suit was presented sometime in 23rd December. The exact date, I'm not 16th or 17th December. So on the face of it is barred by limitation. I am not on the point whether limitation is there or not. I am saying there was no cause of action. There was no agreement. Now your Lord, will kindly come so, to... So your simple defense is that there is... There is no agreement. I will show from my document. Lord, she'll kindly come to page 546. The tenor of their ele electronic mails. Lord, she, this is first legal e email dated 9th August 2019 with reference to the above subject. We would like to bring your, to your kind attention that we have supplied cattle feed raw materials to your esteemed organization. The payment terms as per purchase order was in 50 days. But regularly we received our payment very late. On late payment, Lord Shiv, kindly note this, we have charged an interest of 24% per annum payable by you for rupees 1141322 for the period 14-2018 till date. This is one letter. Lord Shiv, kindly come to the... That is, what is the date? 19th. 19th August. When the last payment was made? Uh, Lord Shiv, uh, May 20, 2020. 20. If I send correct to Lashu, there is a, I'll, I'll show you. Lashu can come to page 555. This is a second electronic mail dated 18th July 2020. With reference to the above subject, we would like to bring it to your kind attention. We have supplied cattle feed raw materials to an esteemed organization. The payment terms as per, as per purchase order was in 50 days, but regularly we received our payments very late. On late payment, we have charged an interest of 24% per, per annum payable by you for rupees 232-54493 for the period 14-2018-18-7-20. We request you to kindly deposit the interest amount in our bank account at your at your earliest. So time to time, they have claimed the interest. Lordship. Lordship, the other letter at the bottom, 9th August, is the earlier letter which I placed. Lordship will kindly come to the legal notice. Another notice is dated 18-7-2020. Same, the tenor of the letter is same. We have charged interest at the rate of page, 20, page? page 557. 
so they don't refer to the invoices they don't refer to my admission alleged admission or acceptance they simply say you have paid a you have made payment with a delay more than 50 days so we are charging you 24 percent now your lordship will kindly come to the legal notice here the language changes at page 581 581 lordship dated may 17 2022 this is a legal notice issued from Calcutta to Sahid Nagar Bhuneshwar. Worship the second paragraph. The first paragraph, pursuant to discussions and agreement qua parties, you had agreed to buy diverse quantities of cotton seed, mustard seed, soya, DOC, and maize from our client on agreed terms and conditions, stipulations, specifications, and prices. Worship, these all will be emanated from the original documents, which is not on record. The tender notices and auction and it was agreed, Lordship, second paragraph, condition recorded in the purchase orders that the payment in respect of supplies at agreed prices would be made over within 50 days from the date of acceptance. This is with regard to the first part, Lordship. Kindly come to the second part. It was further agreed and recorded in the invoices that any delayed payment would attract interest at the rate of 24% per annum and such amount shall be liveable and payable to our client. So now, they improve upon their electronic mail saying that we had agreed as recorded in the invoices. So the invoices will go to show whether there is an acceptance on our part, which doesn't show because they are all tally sheets. On receipt of the purchase orders, our client had executed such purchase orders satisfactorily and sold supplied diverse quantities of products. In terms of such purchase orders to you and such products have also been received and appropriated by you. Our client had raised their invoices in respect of such supplies from time to time and all such invoices have been received and acknowledged by you. But you yes. kindly take note of this. It is a matter of record that you have never raised any objection with respect to the quality of products or the contents, correctness and veracity of the invoices. Lord, you kindly take note of this assertion. They are saying we neither raised any objection with regard to quality and products because there was no, no such thing because we paid the entire 29 crores or the contents correctness and veracity of the invoices. I should have knowledge of the 24% to raise an objection. There was no knowledge at all. In fact, you have from time to time on several days made part payments of invoices. And in fact, all the invoices raised and submitted by our client in respect of sale and supply products have been paid by you, albeit belatedly beyond the due dates. As a matter of fact, nearly and substantially, all payments received by our client towards payment or part payment of the invoices have been made and received by our client well after the agreed due dates, 50 days from the date of invoice. By reason of admitted delayed payments, now they try to make out a case that since I had allegedly made payment beyond 50 days, so I am liable. Our client has become entitled to receive interest 24% for the delayed period. Accordingly, we are attaching a statement of account that would show the calculation of interest, so and so, 1 crore 99. Now, again, the demand, Lord Shiv, now Lord Shiv will kindly come to the mediation application at page 591. Lord Shiv, kindly come to 591, paragraph 2. Quantum of claim, 1 crore 4 lakhs 38,000. The document relied in the mediation proceeding can be taken into consideration in the regular source. No, I am trying to exhibit your lordship, the stand taken by them. The, the, they are taking a diverse stand. Once they say, we are charging you. Now they say, you have agreed. Now what they say in the mediation, the legal notice says something quite different. Now they are trying to make out a case that we have received, accepted, acknowledged, and did not raise any objection. Now, in the mediation, kindly see for paragraph C. It was mutually agreed and recorded. is verbatim of the plaint lordship. It was mutually agreed and recorded in the purchase orders that the payment in respect of such supplies would be made within a period of 50 days from the date of acceptance of the product of the opposite by the opposite party. It was further stipulated and recorded in the invoices that any delayed payments would attract interest at the rate of 24% per annum. All such products and invoices were accepted by the opposite party without raising any dispute or demur at the material time and or at any material time thereafter. 
Lordship D is says the second portion the applicant raised their invoices against such supplies. All such invoices were received, accepted, and acknowledged by the opposite party. Such invoices were raised by, from the registered office of the applicant within the jurisdiction of the Honorable High Court Calcutta. Now they say we don't pay. 593 also says the same thing that we have received payments at Calcutta against the invoices raised. The admission now, your Lordship, kindly come to my supplementary affidavit. Lordship has seen the tax invoices. Lordship has seen the purchase orders. Now, Lordship, kindly come to the supplementary affidavit which I had filed. It is dated 8 September 2023. When ordered it is 31st August 2023, I was permitted to file this. Lordship, at page 4 of my supplementary affidavit, this is the original invoice which was raised and which was received by me and payments were made. But she'll kindly take the plaint also because page 33 of the plaint, the invoice, I have randomly shown three invoices from their bundle, which are identical to the ones which I have produced, which does not contain, do not contain the interest clause. Lord, you kindly come to page four. That is Pratishtha tax invoice, all subject to Kolkata jurisdiction, Pratishtha Commercial Private Limited. It is raised at Orissa State Cooperative Milk Producers Federation Limited Cattle Feed Plant Radha Madhav. The Madhurpur, 8 September. Lord Shiv, now kindly come to this entire document. Nowhere there is a clause of 24% interest for delayed payment. Because their whole suit has been filed on the ground that we have accepted, acknowledged and agreed and have made payments as against these invoices. This is the Foundation. Now, your Lord shall kindly come to page 33. This is the tally sheet. Lord shall kindly compare the numbers. Tax invoice. Here, Sri Ganesha Nama is there in the tally sheet. It's not there. GST number is there. Bill number G1819 of 00307, date 4518. Lord shall kindly see the Tax in invoice at page 34 of my supplementary affidavit. That is also 4 up. Yes, 4528 G18. Lordship, the amount is 581583. Mm -hmm. Here also, Lordship, I see page 33. The last amount is 581583. Correct. Now, your Lordship, come to the other document. I have just point. I'm just pointing out three documents. Lordship, kindly come to page 495. And page 110 of second volume of my supplementary affidavit. 495. Lordship of the plaint. I have just chosen randomly three documents to show whether they tally or not. Yes. Lordship, bill of supply invoice is the heading of my document at page 110. 110. Yes. Of my supplementary affidavit, second volume. Okay. Evidence. How much time you will take? Lordship. It will another, take some time first. It will take some time. So I am fixing another date because Lordship. other fixed matter is there. Lordship. Census and suffering for the plaintiff, census and suffering for the defendant. Defendant had filed an application being GA1 of 2023, praying for rejection of print. Counsel for the defendant has argued the matter at length, but due to paucity of time, argument could not be completed. Fix. Second May 2024. Under the same heading as part heard. Grateful, Lord. Deeply blessed. Lord. Lord. 
Your Lordship, I am appearing on behalf of Senior Counsel Mr. Haradin Banerjee. Mm. Uh, I, I request your Lordship to kindly fix this matter on 24th of April. Today is fixed, Madam. No further opportunity. Sorry. Today is fixed. In his presence, the matter is fixed, and he assured before this court that he will complete the argument today. Yes, yes, start, start. Or otherwise, I will close the argument. I will fix. Last time also, the same thing has happened. Then you made a prayer. Conditional order was passed, yeah. but you have taken 27 dates. On the last occasion, Mr. Banerjee has assured this court today he will conclude. You do one thing, I am fixing CAB, you file your written notes of argument, whatever you want. Will it, uh, I will close your evidence, then I will argue, hear them from, with regard to the reply. What can be done? But I'll take a very short time to one two clarifications in the reply, two points I'll answer, Lord Chip can close it. Yes. Well, the, the point on which well, I would like to reply, well, this is regarding the argument vis-a-vis -vis mortgage. Because well, the, the main plank of Mr. Banerjee's argument has been that because there is a mortgage and Lordship's attention was drawn to Section 58 and Section 67 of the Transfer of Property Act, well, his first submission was that the suit doesn't lie because my remedy is in filing a suit under order 34. I cannot claim simpliciter a money suit. Money suit. This was his. Well, to answer that, well, Lord Chief will kindly take the civil procedure code order 34 rule 14. But it's a misnomer to say that will not mortgage at the end of the day, the property is only securing the money. Now, my lord, the only restriction which law has, suppose I file a simpliciter money suit because, my lord, it's an admitted position. Once it becomes a mortgage suit, I'll have to go to the Haura court. I have abandoned my rights so far as the claiming enforcing the mortgage is concerned. And I have claimed a money suit simpliciter for twofold reasons. Number one, my lord, this is a suit where lifting of corporate veil has been asked for. Lifting of corporate veil because the husband, wife, and there are other uh, one partnership firm and well, another company, another two companies, which is controlled by the husband and wife. So, well, this is a composite suit, and all of the companies have their registered office within the jurisdiction. Now, well, in law, I have to answer Mr. Banerjee's argument that a suit doesn't lie. Firstly, Lordship has not been shown any bar in the provision of law. On the contrary, I shall show a provision of law that if I get a money decree and I put the money decree in execution, the only embargo I have is I can sell all the other properties of his but not the mortgage property okay. because I'll have to file another suit and I'll have to get a decree in that. So therefore, my lord, it, my lord, it does not, the law permits me to do that and my lord, kindly see order 34, rule 14. And this provision of law would itself show that I am well entitled to file a money suit simpliciter even though there is a mortgage subsisting, I may abandon my right of mortgage. And this is the only restriction that I have. Order 34? Rule 14. Yes. Where a mortgagee has obtained a decree for payment of money, in satisfaction of a claim arising under the mortgage. So, my lord, the first line itself is presupposing any time I can obtain a decree in terms of money in respect of which there is a claim arising out of mortgage. Now, what is the restriction? 
he shall not be entitled to bring the mortgage property to sale otherwise than by instituting a suit for sale in enforcement of the mortgage and he may institute such suit notwithstanding anything contained in order to rule to. So my lad, this provision takes care of both his arguments. He had cited order to rule to also yes. that that suit will be, be barred because no leave has been taken and that. Yes. So therefore, my lord, in law, even if a mortgagee has a right, my lord, to sell the property, it is up to the plaintiff to choose whether he wants the money simpliciter or he is enforcing his mortgage in the line of order 34. Here, my lord, we have we are claiming a money decree simpliciter because, my lord, so far as the property is concerned, only half the property. I'll clarify that. So, order 34, rule 14 is a complete answer. Yes. Only restriction that I will have when I get a money decree is cannot, that if I go to, they will come and say no. I will say. then have to file another suit to put the property in sale. Because, well, in a mortgage suit also, Lordship will find decree is passed in two stages. Firstly, there is a preliminary decree in terms of money. Then and agree. then a time is given by the court. If then, the uh, defendant is unable to pay, then, well, the, the property is sold. So, my lord, it is, it is legally not correct to submit that because I have not enforced my right as a mortgage, my lord, I don't get it. Now, my lord, apropos this, my lord, kindly have a look at section 68. Kindly take a look at section 58, 60 and 67 of the Transfer of Property Act, which Mr. Banerjee had read. That fifty eight is only the definitions of mortgage. Now he had relied upon section sixty. Lord, I don't know how it is inuring to his benefit. At any time, after the principal money has become due, the mortgager has a right on payment or tender at a proper time and place of the mortgage money to require the mortgagee to deliver the mortgage deed and all documents relating to the mortgage property which are in possession or power of the mortgagee. Well, this first provision is it has been incorporated exactly because of order 34 that rule 14. That is, in other words, if I get a money decree, his argument was that I am being denied my right of redemption, which I can do at any time. Yes. So even if my Lord, when I will put when I will put the uh, decree in execution, I cannot get hold of that property. Even then, my lord, he will have that my lord, opportunity of my lord putting in the decretal amount and redeeming his mortgage, or he has a uh, he can file a suit for redemption, whatever. Till date, my lord, there is no suit for redemption filed. That point has not been taken at all. Now, my lord, the second point which I want to so my lord, section 60 is not helping his cause at all. Now kindly see section 67. Yes. Let kindly see the section itself is starting in the absence of a contract to the contrary. In the absence of a contract to the contrary. Section, section. 67. Yes. Right to foreclosure or sale. Yes. The mortgagee has at any time after the mortgage money has become due and before a decree has been made for redemption of the mortgage property or the mortgage money has been paid or deposited as herein after provided a right to obtain from the court that the mortgager shall be absolutely debarred of his right to redeem the property. Now, my Lord, kindly see this is any time after mortgage money has become due to him and before a decree has been made for redemption. 
There is not there. That is not there. So this 67 mallet, he has not filed any redemption suit. How is this applicable so far as my money suit simpliciter is concerned? Yes. Then mallet, the second point which I want to clarify, mallet, vis a -vis his argument that specific performance has not been claimed. Okay. Instead, only a money suit has been filed. Now, my lord, what specific performance do I claim when, my lord, the purpose okay, has been frustrated? Your notice. My lord, the case is because, my lord, even as on today when we stand, my lord, the half portion of the land has not yet been purchased. And, my lord, so far as, my lord, what was the original mortgage and what was the substituted mortgage, my lord, just for clarification, because, my lord, every time a confusion is being raised, the money was taken by the defendant number one which is Sabri properties. Money is taken under two heads. One is a direct loan and the agreement provides for interest. And, and one is an advance. That lordship will find me at page 22 that MOU is there. One crore 25 is the advance and loan is 75 lakhs. The loan amount has an interest component mentioned. The advance amount doesn't because the property was to be purchased and the showroom made ready. My opening submission was that now that the consideration has failed, I am also entitled to interest at the same rate being the agreed rate, taking even on the, 1 crore 25. Taking back the money. Yes. Now, my lord, if this is so, 1 crore 25 and 75, that is 2 crores, was taken by Sabri Properties. Now, Sabri Properties is a shell company. It doesn't have assets of its own. So, my lord, to secure this 1 crore 25 or this, this 2 crores which is being given, because, my lord, time was of the essence. Already it has been established. It is pursuant to the LOI. And, my lord, their uh, written statement is also saying, my lord, they knew that Hyundai is, my lord, uh, uh, we had to make a showroom for Hyundai cars. Because this money was given, my lord, they said that I don't have sufficient security. The defendant number two, Sai Copper, their land was initially mortgaged. And which had a my lord, constructed property where my lord, rental income was happening. That was the valuable asset and that is still the valuable asset. Now when rental income was happening, my lord, they came and said that look, it is fetching rental income. We will securitize this rental income and obtain money from the bank so that we can take loan to expedite the construction. It, it is on this representation that mortgage was released. And then what was substituted was that, my lord, in respect of the entire area of land, the half portion which they had purchased, the purchased land was substituted as mortgage. So effectively, my lord, I pay two crores and odd. The land which is secured, that is why they are very comfortable. It's only worth around one crore or not. Mortgage, what they are saying. That is why I have not enforced the mortgage at all. I am simply asking the money decree. So, Malad, this is where the fraud is and that has been pleaded in the plaint that this is the fraud. And Malad, the release deed, it specifically says that the consideration is that when the mortgage property of defendant 2 is released, that will be utilized, the money, the rental income obtained will be utilized to obtain advance to erect construction. Erection. And Malad, as on date, there is no construction at all on the land. My learned friend submitted no admitted position, admitted position, Malad, nothing has been done. And more important, Malad, this is there in page 45, the third recital is saying that, page 45 of volume 1. And this is where my lord, defendant number 2 is involved in the fraud because submission is made that at best the cause of action is against defendant number 1, how defendant number 2, no privity of contract. Yes. Uh, kindly see, whereas said Sai Copper shall arrange a loan, that is defendant number 2 is Sai Copper. I don't have any contract with Sai Copper. But when I am releasing the mortgage which Sai Copper had given, this is what my lord Sai Copper says. Sai Copper shall arrange a loan by securitization of rents through some financial institution, then, my lord, the next lines are very important. For completing the construction job which properly mentioned and described in the deed of simple mortgage dated 12th October 2012. That is, my lord, the earlier one. Yes. 
and then the next recital whereas the confirming party is willing and ready to mortgage another property specifically described in the schedule of the new memorandum this is my lord the same land my lord the balance portion which was subject to preemption they had purchased only 50 percent according to them they could not pur uh, purchase the balance because of preemption claims proceedings were there this is what they and charge and assure the same by way of security so and so so my lord this is only the second clause but defendant number two had also assured that if my mortgage is released by you i will get the rental income securitized and i'll obtain loan for construction the job which is described in the simple mortgage of 12th october that was the agreement between correct because my lord the submission is d2 does not have any liability far less any vicarious liability this was my lord the sum and substance of mr Banerjee's argument yes that's correct so my lord i have been able to yes now my lord one more section i have to deal with kindly take the transfer of property act once and take section 68 Because, my lord, on the basis of this, Mr. Banerjee submitted that the suit is not maintainable. I don't have a right to sue for money simpliciter. Yes. 68 sub clause 2 has. The mortgagee has a right to sue for the mortgage money in the following cases and no other. Where the mortgager binds himself to repay the same, where any cause other than the wrongful act or default of the mortgager or mortgagee. The mortgage property is wholly or partially destroyed or the security is rendered insufficient within the meaning of section 66. Lord, my suit, Lordship would recall, mortgage is only, my Lord, a part of it because the money lent and advanced is only 75 lakhs. Correct. 1 crore 25. That is, is the purchase of the property. It's an only advance. Purchase of the property. So, my Lord, mortgage money or money? it is not even the mortgage money. Correct. It is not even the mortgage money. And in any event, even these have been fulfilled, though it is, my lord, I have already shown, I am not required to file a mortgage suit. But even this, my lord, the substratum has gone because the entire purpose was to set up a Hyundai showroom that failed. Now, my lord, kindly come to subsection 2. That's why Mr. Banerjee has relied upon subsection 2. Yes, I am coming to that. I first showed that. Now, kindly see subsection 2. Where a suit is brought under clause A or clause B of subsection 1, the court may at its discretion stay the suit and all proceedings, notwithstanding any contract to the contrary, until the mortgagee has exhausted all his available remedies. Well, this is again, again, my lord, in line with order 34, rule 14. That is, if by selling the mortgage property, the money is received, well, this can, my lord, go away. But, my lord, in this case, my lord, that situation can never arise. Because what is now being mortgaged is only, my lord, that land which was purchased for 1 crore and odd. Under no way, now, my lord, my dues will be more than 8 crores. Under no way, or no stretch of imagination, my lord, this will fetch it. And the reason why, my lord, so in effect, what happens is, my earlier mortgage was of greater value. That was released. And I agreed to take only half of the land on which the showroom would come, my lord. Because of Sai Copper's undertaking, that I will utilize it. Instead, what Sai Copper does is, after Hyundai cancels my allotment, my lord, Sai Copper enters into my lord an agreement with my rival and they set up a Hyundai showroom over there. Yes, and my lord, we get to know that even my lord, Sai Copper uh, has encumbered the property my lord, to a financial institution. Now, my lord, kindly see subsection 2, I read once again. Where a suit is brought under clause A or clause B. Well, this is not a suit under clause A or clause B. This is my first submission. I can, because well, what Mr. Banerjee has argued, if that proposition is taken to its logical conclusion, then my lord, a mortgagee cannot sue for money simpliciter. That is the law that he is trying to propound. And it has to go only for mortgage money. What Mr. Banerjee has argued is that a mortgagee cannot file a money suit uh, simpliciter. Yes. He has to fall back upon order 34 and he has to first exhaust the property and then come and claim anything else. Or otherwise you have to go to the specific performance. Or specific performance. This is the two submission. Correct. Now, my lord, the first submission is I have shown 
that mortgage uh, mortgagee can file a money simpliciter and order 34 rule 14 recognizes that the only embargo on me will be that because his right of redemption is there I cannot put up that property on sale. I can take hold of any other property in execution until and unless I get addicted. And second, my lord, this is not for mortgage money. This is a money because 1 crore 25 is an advance which I had given. With regard to the sale of the Correct. purchase of the property. And this is a composite. And my lord, most importantly, the third point is this is a case of fraud because Lord Chibu would recall in those paragraphs, sub paragraphs. It's a fraud where the corporate entities have been utilized by the husband and wife to take money in the name of one company, siphon the money in the name of another and further siphon it to the partnership firm. Just to recap, my lord, Lord Chief would recall, 2 crore went to my lord, defendant number one, one. Sabri. Out of 2 crore, my lord, property is purchased only of around 1 crore. That, something has been that is that is the money that is the land which is mortgage which is well, substituted as a mortgage. Sixty eight lakhs and seven lakhs and odd goes to defendant two, and well, to the partnership firm defendant five. five. And defendant three and four being the husband and wife, well, they are the hundred percent owner of all the corporate bodies. So well, even if I get a decree against defendant one simpliciter, they are very happy if a decree is passed against D one who doesn't have anything. Can they have been cashed. Cunningly, my lord, they get that, my lord, mortgage released from D2. Money has been transferred to D2 of 68 lakhs and odd, my lord, and further, my lord, to the partnership firm. And my lord, the evidence is there. Yes. And that is why all these arguments are coming. So, my lord, 68 also does not have any application. Now, my lord, the next submission was that failure of consideration has not been pleaded. Well, Lord, kindly see my fraud particulars, paragraph 17. No, no, thereafter he has surrendered. Huh. Well, Lord, the fraud particulars is saying that, well, Lord, how the various entities have, my Lord, subsequently sh sh shared the money and it is the consideration it. failed. I had given the money, my Lord, to run the showroom. And, my Lord, there is no doubt that Hyundai has cancelled it and, my Lord, I had my 10 lakh security deposit was forfeited. So, therefore, my lord, there is no aspect, uh, no question of my lord, the uh, failure of consideration. Third, my lord, the damages aspect. My lord, my case is on, and he also concedes, it has to be only under section 73. And my lord, the case of damages is under section 73. It is not loss of profit. Yes. Loss of profit is arising because why? Loss of profit is in the nature of damages under 73 because my lord, they knew and it is nobody's case that they did not know that Hyundai showroom was the object for which we were entering into this deal. Now, not only my money is not returned, my Lord, Hyundai cancels my dealership. And my Lord, a rival entity gets the dealership, which my Lord, goes to the, the property of defendant number two. And my Lord, it is on this basis, my Lord, the subsequent claim of loss of profit, which is my Lord, the projected figures, 300 crores or not, it is on the basis of my balance sheets because I am a Hyundai dealer. I am a renowned Hyundai dealer. On your, your report, that uh, expert report. Is yes, yes. Auditor. Correct. He could not cross-examine. He could, he, he could, he could not cross -examine. Nothing has come out yeah. in respect of that. Auditor has placed that. So, my lord, the claims are on three heads. Number one, two crore. It's a failure of consideration. Irrespective whether lordship calls it under advance or Lordship calls it under uh, my Lord, money lent and advanced. Advance for property or money lent and advanced, it is advanced nonetheless. So, two crores have gone to them, it is admitted. But my Lord, they are saying, I have your money, but you file a mortgage suit. Why? That's why they have come on the legal aspects. They correct, correct. They have admitted with regard to the amount and the talk. Now, my Lord, I conceded that the agreed interest with regard to 12% is for the loan amount of 75 but when consideration fails, my Lord, this is the best possible evidence of my Lord, contemporary rate of interest because my Lord, under uh, the interest act, whatever, there is already an agreement between the parties with regard to rate of interest on that. But the one quantum it is in there. Then... Huh? Now, my Lord, uh, Lord Chief would recall because my Lord, they came in at a later date. We had already filed a notes of argument prior to my Lord, they commencing their argument. 
Pilot, we have been very candid that so far as 300 crores is concerned, we have said that we have been able to prove to the extent of at least 50 crores. 300 was claimed 50 crores through the Pilot, next five years or uh, five years projection. Yes. 15 years projection, at least 50 crores. So Pilot, that Pilot, in the notes, we have said that categorically, I am not changing that. And Pilot, so far as Pilot, the other aspects are concerned, order to rule to, I have already answered. Pilot, just per minute, I am all, uh, uh, I have covered everything, Melod. Apropos the argument made today, kindly, Melod, allow me to file a two-page supplementary note covering yes. the arguments yes. which yes. Mr. Banerjee has done. No and if he has anything left out, let them also file a note. I don't want to shut them. See, I am giving time. Whatever the argument Mr. Banerjee left, yes. given the written notes of argument. Correct. I am fixing a date for filing written notes of argument. How soon yes. you will file? How soon? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yes, sir. Two weeks. Two weeks. So and so and so appearing for the plaintiff. So and so and so appearing for the defendant. Police. Today is fixed for uh, today. The matter is fixed for further argument by the defendant. But when the matter is called, the consult for the defendant prays for time. It is fine from the record. For the last several days, the defendant is arguing the matter, and time and again, the defendant has also taken time. This court find uh, police this court refused to grant time to the learned counsel for the defendant with the liberty to file their written notes of argument within two weeks. So the counsel for the plaintiff has also concluded this argument by giving reply to the Argument made by the counsel for the defendant. The plaintiff is also given liberty to file their supplementary written notes of argument within two weeks. List the matter. List the matter on 30th April 2022 under the heading to be mentioned for filing written Blood, notes. Just one submission, Millard. Kindly record that today they were to conclude and because of so many days taken. Because That's otherwise, my lord. That's how you recorded. That's why I recorded. I am not inclined. I don't want Miller like that matter, Miller. The, the, every court they are going higher up. It took five days in Supreme Court to explain to the judge whether the, the, to the judges in the bar matter, Miller, which Lordship had dealt with in the appeal. Taking court. care of that. Exactly, exactly this situation had happened. Grateful, Your Lordship. The application for amendment of the plaint, my lord, if I may please, the amendment application has been and the pleadings are complete, my lord. Yes, my lord, the amendment has been necessitated because of the fact that when I had filed the plaint, in the plaint, it was the plaint was filed pursuant to an agreement container lease agreement. And in the container lease agreement, I had in the plaint, I had sought for recovery of money mm -hmm. along with return of certain containers. In the container lease agreement, my lord, there is an exclusive jurisdiction clause to have the uh, any disputes arising to be determined in courts in Calcutta. In Calcutta, my lord, the defendant is situated outside. Part of the cause of action has arisen within. Accordingly, I had uh, filed this application, prayed for leave under clause twelve. Leave under clause twelve was granted, subject to scrutiny. The plaint was presented, my lord. After in the course of scrutiny, we come across that there is no paragraph in the plaint indicating the jurisdiction clause, or the particular jurisdiction clause, because in the plaint, I have indicated that uh, pursuant to the agreement, exclusive jurisdiction was with uh, the courts in Calcutta. So for the purpose of... Uh, Leave under clause 12, the department held that I ought to indicate Which matter? the Which matter? What is the number? My item GA1 in name? CS 11 of 2023. Francais versus SM containers. That's me. I am searching, is making some. But if I may indicate. Again, my lord, 
in this matter there was a container lease okay. agreement the jurisdiction clause is there in the agreement hmm. not disputed between the parties when i had presented the plaint leave was granted prayer a is my leave under clause 12 hmm. but, but how, how this application is maintainable my lord i am i am have you gone through, have you gone through the affidavit yes my lord i has gone through his affidavit which, which paragraph you wanted to amend my lord i have i do want to bring in a fresh paragraph 23a huh. my lord yes my lord for the this is an application for amendment of the pleadings he has indicated that no, in the I, verification kindly come to your application yes my lord come to your application page 5 paragraph 10 Malad, this is in this is yes. uh, with you regard want, to in uh, the application you want to amend the paragraph paragraph twenty two. But in the uh, in the amendment application you want it to... is indicated as twenty three a, my lord. Okay, then in the twenty three a, Malad, that is a uh, um, uh, typographical error, my lord. It at the time when I do the correction, my lord, the verification would be done accordingly. How? My lord, it should. My lord, it is in the. Uh, application that i have filed the, the proposed court, plain what is to be taken into consideration of the application then the court has to pass an order for Hello. amendment in the application in paragraph 10 of the application you stated that you wanted to amend the paragraph 22 as follows kindly come to the page my lord page 5 paragraph 10 It's... now the and can come to the paragraph uh, prayer page portion. 19 is prayer the... portion yes my lord prayer portion page 9 Last portion and uh, page seven. Last portion and page eight. My lord, I have yes, indicated no. X. X. Now come to the X is the page nine. Page nineteen, my lord. Page nineteen is the twenty-three. Twenty-three A. Malad, but I am only requesting, my lord, to allow me to carry out that particular correction to paragraph ten herein because it ought to have been twenty-three A. My lord, I have indicated that only the numbering has gone wrong, my lord. However, my lord, the other point that he has taken with regard to. But there being discrepancy in respect of order six rule fifteen a and order eleven rule one and three, my lord, those are issues with regard to the affidavit and the verification. My lord, in a uh, matter of amendment of a plaint, I am only seeking the amendment of the pleadings. The verification would come subsequently. The verification is not a part of the pleadings, but it is a part of the affidavit or a evidence of sorts. My lord, therefore, that I have not indicated in the pleadings. I only can indicate in the video you are also not prayed for a reaffirmation or Yes malad i have prayed for that Where i have that? i have prayed for that Where is malad prayer b prayer b prayer prayer b of the application leave to give the plaintiff uh, to re verify and reaffirm and amend the plaint that i have prayed malad malad i am only seeking that so therefore those provisions would not come in i am only seeking if malad grants me that leave to correct it should be 23a instead of 22 And that has been an inadvertent typographical error, my lord. Yeah. And my lord, it is it is at the stage where writ of summons have not been issued. This was at the stage of departmental scrutiny when this particular issue has come up. Leave was already granted. Therefore, my and it was granted pursuant to the exclusive jurisdiction clause, which was shown. So it is only a mere uh, typographical error for which my lord may kindly grant me leave. But there are judgments to that effect. If my lord so pleases, no, I will. Milad, I had two prong submissions. Please. A that in as Milad very correctly pointed out that in page five, paragraph ten, paragraph twenty two was mentioned in place instead of paragraph twenty three as amended in the as mentioned in page nineteen of the proposed in the application which is the proposed amendment. Milad, my second submission was that kindly comes Milad to press C is that the concerned department of the honourable court be directed to carry out the said amendments subject to correction, Milad, if the statement of truth that has been appended to the proposed amendment, plain which is how. My learned senior friend, once amendment of the plate does not contain, does not verify the proposed amendments that he has sought to bring into the picture, he possibly does not have a avenue to have a fresh statement of truth made into place. Because, my lord, according to the original said rules, my learned senior friend's client does not have any option to give further documents for the purposes of. When amendment is carried, he has not asked for the amendment. statement of truth. No, my lord, kindly comes to the statement of truth. I shall indicate. <laughs> Kindly come to the statement of truth. I shall indicate. Ah, uh, page twenty-three. Yes, my lord. Hmm. Kindly see his uh, paragraph. He has sought for amendment of one, three, five, eight, eleven, and nine based on knowledge, and twenty-two and twenty-three. Kindly takes the proposed amendment plaint. Where, where, where? Which portion you are asking? Reading. My lord, which portion? Yes, my lord. 
page 22 page 22 page 23 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 
full list of defendant that filed an application being GA3 of 2023, praying for rejection of print and for revocation of the leave granted under section 12A. Yes, your honor. 12A of the Commercial Court Act. It is fine from the record. The pleadings have been completed, but the counsel for the defendant prays for time. In view of the submission made by the counsel for the defendant, the case adjourned. Let the matter appear on 7th May. Gratefully, you don't. Stay, Maddie. My lord, in this matter, Mr. Ritoboto Mitru is here. I'm just praying for not today, my lord. Oh, when the matter is listed. Since morning, none of the matter has been taken up for hearing. Well, only for not today. What is the Lord. application for? My Lord, application I have, uh, I have given advance for this uh, raw jute, my Lord, raw cotton. Who is for the defendant? Affidavit is not filed. Have you served the copy? Yes, my Lord, I have served. Where is the... Defendant, last occasion he appeared, my Lord. No. As per the prayer made by the counsel for the plaintiff, the case are John. Let the matter appear on 10th May. Next. Grateful, my lord. Should I appear for the defendant for two and three, lord? Yes. Is six for witness action. The witness, yes. witness present. Yes. <laughs> My half an hour. Yes, yes. Who is what? You are appearing. <laughs> Sure. Yes. One. Defendant, yes. defendant two and three, witness one. Yes. 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 I solemnly affirm. I solemnly affirm that whatever I depose. That whatever I depose by way of evidence. By way of evidence. I shall speak the truth. I shall speak the truth. No part of it shall be false. No part of it shall be false. And I shall not conceal anything. And I shall not conceal anything. What is your name? My name is Arpit Kuteta. Arpit spelling. A-R-P-I-T K-H-U-N T-E-T-A K-H-U-N N T-E-T-A Father's name? Uh, Shri Krishan Kuteta. Shri Krishan Kuteta. Your age, sir? I am 32 years old. 32. What is your occupation? I am an executive engineer. Uh, Railways. Your residential address? Uh, my permanent residential address is in... Just yes, to write it down. My permanent residential address is in Jaipur, Rajasthan. And currently I reside in Chasuguda, Odisha. Yes, Mr. Mr. Kuteta, how are you connected with the defendant numbers two and three? Uh, as I uh, already told, I am uh, slowly, slowly, slowly. I am uh, posted as executive engineer, construction division, construction division, Southeast Central Railway, Central Southeast Railway. Central Railway. Central Railway. Uh, directly working under control of defendant number two and three. Slowly. Directly working under the control of defendant number two and three. Mr. Kuteta, have you been authorized by the defendant number two and three to depose in this in this case? Yes. Uh, I've been authorized 
to uh, for i have been authorized to appear for and on behalf of union of india uh, in respect of any uh, judicial matters relating to railway administration wide railway board letter dated uh, sometime in june 1992 92 mr sunita i am showing you an order of the railway board that is dated on 4th june 1992 is it this order which you are referring to yes Yes, I refer to this order. Oh, you I am objecting to this. Means this is a leading question. You know, this is the authorization. He, he this... cannot ask like this. Means subject to correction. Means uh, this is authorization. I am objecting to. Means what is the question? You know, yes. You know, then um. only you can show but and he will say what is the document yes. only you put the question then he will yes. give the answer he not put the answer along with the question okay. you please indicate the serial number of this list wherein you have been authorized to depose before this court and this is also a leading question milord this is the authorization milord I want to show that person has been authorized by the railway. The direct question: Is there any name appearing um, of your designation appearing in the list? That's all. Yes, you know. I will. Uh, Put the direct question, not the leading. You know, here, here the by designation authorization given. I know. You know. But so, by name, it is very difficult for the union. Absolutely, of absolutely. So, uh, Mr. Kuteta, has you been authorized under this order to depose? Uh, yes, at uh, serial number thirty-two, uh, divisional executive engineer. At serial number thirty-two, divisional executive engineer uh, have been authorized. You know, this should go subject to objection. Yes, <laughs> subject to. Objection. You know, I tender this, my lord. The. You know, this is the copy. To be marked. Saw the copy too. No, my lord. This is a Xerox copy. This cannot go. You know, this is the correction. print out. Oh, print out. Yes, a copy. No, this is Xerox copy, not a print out. It can be seen. It's a Xerox. So, my lord, photo copy. This is this is your copy. No, this is authorization on. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. Subject. Well, subject to objection. Well, this is subject to correction, Miller. This is the primary document is photocopied. It has been scanned, then print out taken. From the photocopy, it has been scanned, not certified, then photocopy taken. From the scanned document. This then print the, out taken from print out this is uh, from printer railway board circular this is a secondary to secondary document oh, no no mr the, mr drol yeah is the officer concern milord correct and this is the common order issued by the government authorizing some of the officers yes. with regard to their work to report to in railway cases in railway conducting there the must, railway cases there must be this order must be in the file of the officer so they can get it either certified copy from the concern officer or he could he is the gazetted officer he could he can it's certified by somebody certified. subject to identification let this be milord exhibited subject to identification uh, that can be milord no kindly don't make it exhibit ah, subject no. to identification right. No, no. The uh, the what is that? The order dated, order or uh, circular? The letter number E, capital within bracket G, eighty two L L two dash two capital within bracket capital A dated. Fourth June nineteen ninety two is kept with the record for identification. Milord, Mr. Kuteta, I am showing you. Ah, uh, and before that, kindly ah uh, uh, 
Mr. Kuteta, are you aware of the facts of this civil suit? Uh, yes, I am aware. Uh, you say that, 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 that's right. Okay. Yes, I am aware. Mr. Kuteta, how did you get the facts of this case? I've I've gone through the case files and the Sorry. I've gone through the case files and the contract files and the and contract, the contract files. files and records uh, available and records available to get acquainted with the facts of this case. Mr. Kuteta, can you state the facts in short before this court? Uh, yes, I can state the facts in short. Yes, you please place the facts in short. Uh, the contract for uh, construction of major bridge. Major bridge. Uh, 182 between e ib and bridge rajnagar station and bridge rajnagar bridge rajnagar station brjn bridge rajnagar brijnagar station yes sir uh, for uh, structure the contract for construction of major bridge 182 between Eve and Vrajrajnagar uh, in connection with construction of third line between Champa and Jharsugura. The letter of award was uh, the letter of acceptance was awarded to the uh, Rahi GPT, the contractor, in July of 2010, with the original completion period of 27 months. However, uh, during the course of execution, the contractor uh, failed to complete the work within the prescribed time even after time extensions were given. Consequently, the SEC Railway yes. Southeast Central Railway Southeast Central Railway <laughs> served the contractor 7 days notice 48 hour notice and finally the contract was terminated according to clause 62 Slowly. of GCC 2001. After this termination, the contractor filed a civil suit. Uh, for this case. Okay. Mr. Kotita, I am showing you the document exhibited Mark D. Mark D. Document. Mark D. Exhibit D. Please tell the Honorable Court that what is this document?
this is the contract agreement executed between uh, southeast central railway and rahi gpt for construction of foundation substructure substructure foundation substructure approaches including allied and miscellaneous works for major bridge number 182 between eeb and brijraj nagar stations between ib and brijraj nagar station in connection with third line between champa jhasugra champa jharsugra jharsugra please tell when this agreement was executed Uh, this agreement was executed in September of 2011. 7 September 2011. 2011. Seven September 2011. Sorry, uh, it's on second September 2011. Second. Who who have signed? this agreement on behalf of the plaintiff contractor and on behalf of the defendant number 23 railway uh, on behalf of defendant number 2 and 3 uh, chief engineer so, construction yeah. one this is admitted document they have produced exhibited document Mil. not necessary what if, if you want any Specific, then you put that. Otherwise, the document is admitted by the party. They are reliant upon. Yes, you are reliant. Reliant upon. Yes, you know, question yes. of admitting the document signature does not arise. Yes, my lord. So, <clears throat> if you wanted to take any specific from the agreement, Milut. you can put Milut. Milut. Then otherwise, Milut. Milut. agreement is. admitted by the party and they have relied upon that yes mr kotita was there any provision in the contract for geotechnical survey report before execution of construction work of the bridge Uh, yes there was a provision for a geotechnical investigation in schedule a of contract agreement in schedule a of co contract agreement agreement slowly sir manutosh abhi ko bhejna na bheja pani da whether <coughs> the contractor had any geotechnical survey investigation made prior to initiation of the construction of the bridge uh, no contractor has not done any geotechnical uh, investigation before construction of the bridge in the event in the in the event not having any geo survey investigation report prior to initiation of construction how did how did the plaintiff contractor proceed for construction of the bridge uh, uh, actually the geotechnical investigation for this uh, site had been already conducted by railways prior to award of uh, the contract to the uh, contractor and the same was uh, suggested by railways to be used by contractor in mm -hmm. this agreement so sir
with a kuteta whether <coughs> the geotechnical exploration report taken by the railway whether a copy there too was handed over to the plaintiff's contractor yes it was handed over to the contractor and whether whether in the contract agreement was there any prohibition against the plaintiff contractor for getting geotechnical exploration report of its own uh, there as such was no prohibition to the contractor prohibition uh? prohibition prohibition to the contractor the contract to conduct his own geotechnical survey uh Although the survey which was conducted by railway, the report of that survey was already given to the contractor and suggested to use the same by railway. Mr. Koteta, I have already shown you the contract agreement that is the exhibit D, D. Exhibit that is the exhibit D. That is exhibit D. Kindly please tell what consists in the contract contract agreement dated second September two thousand eleven. Uh, this agreement uh, consists of various chapters. Uh, as tabulated in table of contents uh, from chapter number 1 to chapter number uh, 14 and schedules of the work to be done. Uh, here chapter number 6 to chapter number 13 pertains to special conditions of contract in relation to work to be executed. Milot, this is the common document, Milot. So it is already exhibited. So I am not necessary. Not necessary. Milot. Yes. Hmm. Mr. Kuteta, I am showing you another document marked as exhibit E. Please tell the Honorable Court that what is this doc document? This is the tender notice published by South East Central Railway for construction of uh, foundation substructure approaches of major bridge number 182. Approaches including allied and miscellaneous works for major bridge number 182 between IB and Brijraj Nagar stations in connection with third line between Champa and Charsuguda. The completion, it, it the opening of the set tender as per this document was on 23rd of February. 2010 and completion period uh, was 27 months including monsoon season including 27 months, months months including monsoon including monsoon season mr kuteta from which place this tender notice was issued uh, this tender notice has been uh, issued from the office of chief administrative officer construction of 
साउथ ईस्ट सेंट्रल रेलवे हेडक्वार्टर्ड एट बिलासपुर हेडक्वार्टर्ड एट बिलासपुर इन द स्टेट ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ मिस्टर कुटेटा व्हाट वाज द प्लेस ऑफ ओपनिंग द टेंडर एंड व्हाट वाज द प्लेस ऑफ ओपनिंग द टेंडर the tender was opened at the uh, same place the office of chief administrative officer construction icc railway bilaspur chatisgarh what was the place where the work construction was to be executed the construction of this uh, major bridge number 182 was to be executed between ib and brijdanagar stations Uh, which uh, which are in the jurisdiction of SEC railway uh, in the state of Chhattisgarh. Whether South East Central Railway is having its any office in the city of Kolkata or any part of the state of West Bengal? No, not to my knowledge. West, West Bengal. Bengal. Not to, the state not of to West my Bengal. knowledge. No, uh, it does not contain any office, SEC Railway in West Bengal. Sir Kuteta. from which place the process of floating tender and accepting tender for work contract for construction of bridge in connection with third line between chapa and jharsugda was completed uh, the tender was floated and the offer was accepted from the office of chief floated, floated. and the office offer was offer was accepted from the office of chief administrative officer construction of sec railway in bilaspur chatisgarh Mr. Kuteta, where is the site of the construction of this bridge? Uh, it is in, uh, it is in Chhattisgarh, Bilaspur, between stations E and Brijaraj Nagar. Is there any work done in connection with the construction of this bridge of the said bridge? in kolkata or kolkata any part of the in the state of west bengal or in the state of west bengal no you know this document also common document and this is the exhibit e milot marked exhibit e milot therefore i have not not necessary Will you die? Stop here, Bilal. And uh, I. How much time you will take, Father? You will see. We may fix it in first week of May, Bilal. How many witnesses you are having? Only one witness. He's coming from Bilaspur. Bilaspur, Milut. Chhattisgarh. Uh, Jharsugur. I am currently posted at Jharsugur. Then May he will be transferred, and other other person will be. That well, it was uh, of that it is initially fixed for yesterday and uh, today. Milut, I was praying like any day next week, Milut, it can be done. No, I am telling with regard to the government officers. Again, if he transfer, then he has to search the office. Milut, chief chief engineer of the South East East Central Railway, Milut, has engaged him. Milot, he is the Milot, the graduate from the Bombay IIT. He is a very 
my witness milord hmm. so milord that he he has been assigned this for this no, even correct. if he transfer some other place milord he will remain in the mat he will come no that is correct how much time you will take milord ah uh, if you will take much time then he will cross examine also then i will take two days i will take milord maximum two days for for this witness If it is Milord, Milord, if it, okay, if... I am fixing two dates. Let us see. yes, yes. It was initially fixed for two days only. Okay, so and so so and so appearing for the plaintiff. So and so so and so appearing for the defendant. Police talk. Defendant witness is present, and examination in chief is resumed. And now let me start it. It started. Police talk. Uh, counsel for the defendant, please for time to. Continue the examination. Examine the chief of the witness further. There is a lot. Let the matter appear on a Manutos. Any may may be date. Hey, they go fix the government to bar se aate. Koi date may may first week may. Any time at the top, Milada, so that it can be. ट Second and third May at twelve. Great. Second third May, we will be able to appear before this court. That's all.
My Lord, I appear for the plaintiff in the matter. Yes. Lord, my witness is present, my Lord. Let me go to the court. My Lord, may I file the judge's brief of documents and, my Lord, the affidavit of evidence. My Lord, uh, before my Lord starts, my Lord, may I just point out in this affidavit, my Lord, there is a typographical error. A wrong name of a proprietor has gone in. May I correct it with my Lord's leave? Yes, sir. No, I didn't. My name is Sandeep Modi. D W no, -E. M O D I. The same thing like, the same thing like Mr. Modi, kindly uh, inform this honorable court as to how you are associated with the proceedings. How you are asso associated with the proceedings. I am one of the directors of the company. It was this. I am one of the director of the company. No, 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 matter of evidence, no, 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 Late Rajkumar Modi. I'm 55 years old. 55. Occupation? Business. Residential address. We are staying at Clive Road, 5 by 1 Clive. Sorry, sir. Number 2, Ho Chi Minh Sarni. Ho Chi Minh Sarni. Calcutta 71. First question, repeat for me. Oh, take care of both of them. Both of them. My Lord, uh, can we show him the affidavit of evidence? Kindly tell my Lord what is this document? We have, we have, pined, we have filed a rate petition in the court. This is the affidavit of evidence. And use the microphone. Kindly come to page number. Uh, kindly see the first page at the top. Do you see any number? First page at the top. Do you see any number? Yes, CS number 53 of 2017. Book. Kindly come to page eight. Mm -hmm. Kindly, do you see any signature? There is my signature. Allah will kindly allow him to encircle that. Not, yeah, not necessary. necessary. Very good. This is a signature in which document? In the affidavit. Of evidence. 
under whose instruction was the affidavit prepared? The affidavit was prepared under my instruction by my lawyer. Are the contents of this affidavit true and correct? Yes, true. I will kindly uh, allow the uh, witness to see the judge's brief of documents. Kindly come to page one of this document. Kindly tell my lord what is this document. This is the minutes of uh, uh, minutes of the meeting board board resolution board resolution board resolution. What does this say? It's it says it's, that uh, it authorizes me to file a read petition against the company hmm. in front of the, with the court. With the court against Kandelawal steel tubes against who has it been signed by? It's been signed by the other director, Savita Modi, the other director of the company. Do you know the signature? Yeah, I know the signature. Say yes, please. Yes. My Lord, does this need to be encircled, my Lord? Yes. Encircle this kindly, the signature. Kindly encircle the signature. My Lord, I tender this document. Board resolution is marked Exhibit A and signature is Exhibit A by 1. Kindly come to page two. Kindly tell my lord what is this document? These are the details of the invoices raised by. Go oh, slow, sir. Oh. They'll have to write. Password. These are the detail of the invoices raised by us on. Kandelwal steel tubes. Kindly turn over and tell my lord which is what is this document? These are the tax invoices. These are the hmm, raised by us on Kandelwal steel tubes. Does this invoice bear any signature? Yes. Say yes, please. Yes. Kindly encircle the signature. My lord, there is a bunch. My lord, he'll Page encircle. Number one. My lord, 2 to 35. Or rather, 3 to 35, my lord. You have to encircle also. You just cannot turn the pages. 2 to 35 are the invoices. Three to thirty five, the JBD. Yeah? No, three, three to thirty five. Two is the list. Huh? Record it. Fold it. Fold it. Madam, we can have no signature in page number 20. I will record. 22 and other data, sorry. 26 and 26. 26. 27. 27. 
Malora tender these documents. Page number three to thirty two. Thirty five. Thirty five. Except page number twenty two, twenty six, and twenty seven are marked as exhibit B collectively. That's a list. Two is the the list. It is. It is. Two all. Kindly turn. It, that having signature? I don't think so. No, that's the does not contain signature. Yes, next. Achha. Kindly turn to page number 36. Kindly tell my lord what is this document? These are the delivery chalan of our company. Yeah. Does it bear any signature? It bears the signature of our staff. And also also the received signature from the customer, from the buyer. Can you encircle the signatures? Well, this is from page number 36 to 68. Yes. Sixty eight B one signature B connect B by one connectivity signature in circuit Pelavada me B signature in circuit signature B by one connectivity. Again, he's doing wrong. In plaintiff signature will be blue and buyer signature in the red. But he is taking the both in the same color. There are two signatures, not in the both in the blue or red. Either one in the blue, the plaintiff side and the defendant who is buyer side it is in, in the red. Not in the same color. How you identify? Mm. Uh, it's like the signature of the plaintiff side from red. And red. No, plaintiff blue. Plaintiff blue and a buyer red. <laughs> Thank you. 
Look, 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 and the buyer's witness C by 2 collectively. Yeah? Let me put it. But but customer has received work signature. The so document be exhibited no, only record at page number forty eight. Signature is signature of the plaintiff is not appearing. C collectively and C by one and C by Kindly see page number 69 and kindly tell my lord what is this document. These are the, this is the statement of accounts, the materials shipped through our invoices. Materials shipped through our invoices, the details of the materials shipped through our invoices. Payment received. and the due amount. Can you turn over the next page and tell my lord, this is, my lord, this is a con continuing thing. So can you turn over the next page and tell my lord what is this document? This d document is uh, the total uh, amount which Includes interest also. Interest on the due amount. Does it bear any signature? No. It has been prepared by us. It has been prepared by us. Well, this is actually a part of the cash book, but since he's not said anything, I'm not saying it. Can you turn over to page number 71? Can you tell my lord what is this document? This is our advocate's letter issued to send by speed post to the Khandelwal steel tubes. And the letter has been sent through speed post, sent through speed post. And the acknowledgement receipt is there. Does this... Along with the acknowledgement due. Along with the acknowledgement. Does the acknowledgement uh, card bear any signature? Yeah, it shows it bears the stamp of the company, receiving company. Signature, sir. Signature, signature, signature. No, stamp and signature. There's a stamp and signature. I'm going to tender this letter and the acknowledgement due. Uh, Madam, possible, please. Last uh, 71 to 73. My Lord will kindly uh, hand over the copy of the plane to him. 
And it turn over to page ten. Page ten of the plane. Can you tell my lord what are the reliefs that you have sought? What are the relief that you have sought? Relief we have sought the, for the degree of uh, rupees thirty one lakh seventy one thousand nine hundred. Sir, sir, slowly. Repeat again, sir. Yes, we have asked for a degree for the sum of rupees thirty one lakh seventy one thousand nine forty. 40. 940. 940. That is all. That's all. You can step on. Any further witness? No, ma'am. Consistency appearing for the printing. Printy uh, witness is present. Police document. Printy face filed examination in chief on affidavit as well as judge's brief of document. Uh, give that examination in chief. Counsel for the printy praise, praise leave to. Correct the name of the defendant in paragraph 5 of the examination chief. Leave is granted. Police document. Plaintiff has examined one witness, and during the no, examination chief, we kept the court stated. Full stop. It is an examination chief and judges will document. We kept with the record. We kept with the record. Full stop. The during the examination of the plaintiff, documents were exhibited, being A, B, and C. C, D. A, A to D. Examination chief, examination chief of the witness is concluded and witness is discharged. So the counsel for the plaintiff submitted, she will not adduce any further evidence. So evidence on the side of the plaintiff is closed as none appears, as the suit is. Is it undefended? Undefended, my lord. The even undefended. List the matter on. on when? Argument. Whichever did, man. Let the matter appear on 25th April for argument. Yes, next. My lord, item number 99 appear on behalf of the plaintiff. My lord, I've been, I've been led by Mr. Ratnanko Banerjee, my lord. Uh, my Lord, I kindly pray for not to remember. My well, Lord, uh, there is one thing which I need to indicate, my Lord. I appear for the defendant, my Lord, the liquidator appointed by the National Company Law Board, Kolkata Bench. My well, Lord, the liquidation process had commenced and in fact, my Lord, uh, the... Okay. Liquidation is, um, in fact, the sales certificate. There was an auction which was uh, conducted, Malad. It has been successful and it, uh, the assets of the company had been sold off. The sales it's certificate. Has been plaintiffs or defendant? Malad, I appear for the defendant, Malad. Which, uh, which company has been sold off? 
मतलब द डिफेंडेंट व्हिच वाज इनिशियली अंडर सीआईआरपी एंड देयर आफ्टर इन लिक्विडेशन दैट्स अ डिफेंडेंट्स कंपनी यस सो नाउ मतलब इट्स मोर ऑर लेस ऑन द प्लेंटिफ मतलब टू टेक अ अप्रोप्रिएट स्टेप्स बिकॉज़ टेक अ नोट ऑफ द सबमिशन माय लॉर्ड वी आर अवेयर अबाउट द सबमिशन अवेयर व्हाट विल यू व्हाट यू विल डू my lord now we'll have to again amend the cost where is mr banerji was in the my lord uh, he is uh, right now i what i have been informed he is in before the apex court okay in that case mother perhaps because it's on the plaintiff mother to take steps senses senses appearing for the plaintiff senses senses appearing for the defendant police stop counsel for the plaintiff prays for time prayer is police stop prayer is allowed let the matter appear on second may second may and whether if it so commences to your lordship may also record my submissions because mother that i don't want to record let, let they come first well, because in any event perhaps the factual is not very because the senior is not very grateful so much your question i get the boss well i appear for the plaintiff This is my lord the matter which was my lord heard at length before your lordship my lord part suit for partition your lordship was pleased to my lord uh, recall the order by of preliminary decree recall the preliminary decree and thereafter final arguments had 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 commenced in fact uh, our final arguments were concluded on behalf of the plaintiff Mr Mitro had made his submissions then my lord uh, Mr Shortcard for the defendant number two had also concluded his submissions and it was Mr Cormacor and then his leader Mr Chatterjee. Who was making submissions on behalf of the different number three? Malad, it is that that stage, Malad, the determination changed, Malad. But then, Malad, the, the coordinate bench has released the matter, and that has been the entire suit has been uh, assigned to your lordship, Malad. So I was humbly praying, Malad, it can it can, Malad, continue from the stage as it was, Malad, where Malad, Mr. Kormukar was making uh, giving us making us submissions, and we were to give our reply, Malad, after Mr. Kormukar concludes, Malad. Malad, Malad, fix any date, Malad, for uh, Mr. Kormukar is there, Malad, I see. So any any date for him to conclude. Yes. So, to your lordship, Lord, I do not have an option to make any submission no, on when, this. When, 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 Mr. Chatterjee will be. Um, Lord, uh, next week or next to next week, whenever convenient for my lord. Whenever convenient, my lord, Malad, we will give our reply immediately after Mr. Chatterjee. Sir, so Chatterjee has not concluded. I think. No, no, he has not. He he said that he will take one more day. Sensations appearing for the plaintiff. Sensations appearing for the defendants. <laughs> It is fine from the record. The matter is at this stage of argument. Police, let the matter appear on. Manush, we date hold at the end. Argument. Assign matter. Sir, two hours. First May at three p.m. First May at three p.m. Lord, uh, first of May, my lord, uh, there is some difficulty. Lord, can it be on third of May or my lord, uh, fifth, fifth? No, nah, fifth is a Sunday. Lord, or on the next week, my lord, uh, third May, two third, p.m. Third May, two p.m. Third May, two p.m. Grateful, my lord, deeply. Next. Why so? G G is already we disposed of. Why G? We can dispose of mostly. At number two, Malod, I am for the plaintiff, Malod. On fourth March, Malod, there was cross examination of the defendant was going on, Malod. Malod had placed the matter on twelfth April at three p.m. Malod. Thereafter, the determination got changed. We have assigned the matter to your lordship, Malod. Witness action. Have been assigned. I am for the Milord. I am for the defendant. Yes. Here, Milord, the witness action of cross examination. The W one was going on. Milord, ah. one more date was required by yes. the plaintiff's counsel. Milord, ah. the date fixed was Milord today at three pm. Milord, thereafter it goes. Determination. Determination. Milord, change. Hmm. Now it has been assigned to your lordship again. Why? But well, it was extensively hard. Over. Yes. <laughs> one more date, Milord. Witness action. But extensively hard. Plenty have already done. Not extensively hard. Extensively hard means. Meaning by meaning there by the argument, the witness action. But our date may be fixed, my lord. After twenty sixth April, any day. Data blue. Yes, sir. Data blue. That is going on. Yes. Examination. One more date. One, one more date. date. 
cross examining for two two days sponsor so -so suffering for the plaintiff sponsor so -so suffering for the defendant the met and the counsel for the respective party submit that the case is at the stage of cross examination of the defendant witness in view of the submission made by the counsel for the respective parties does the matter give any date for cross examination 6th of may what time 2 p.m 6th may 2 p.m I came for the date number one. Yes. I for the date number one. Today is the date for filing the note of argument. Ah. Or a Acha Jyotir, my call chhod. The notes are notes are ready. Our notes are also. Okay. Okay. Only one additional thing that I have relied in my notes of argument is that the judgment on forty-five ZH. No, but only another thing for me, Mother Rashi will kindly take my notes. Mother will kindly pardon me for the uh, written different number two. I I think I must indicate the last paragraph, page six, paragraph twelve. Yeah, dear, dear, no, no. Maybe I also have. <laughs> so this this is this is may not be a legal approach to the matter. <laughs> I, I I I may not be. I I I I make it clear to your lordship. I'm making it clear to you. You copy me, dear, dear. So and so so and so appearing for the party. copy may be served on us. So and so so and so appearing for the okay. different exchange their Richard. arguments. So and so so and so appearing for the different okay. number one and so and so so and so appearing for the different number okay. two. Okay. Counsel for the respective parties of file yeah, their written okay. notes of argument. Let the same be kept with the record. Okay. Okay. Oblige me. Great. My Lord, I beg to appear for the petition as My Lord. This is a restoration application. Justice Kapoor has heard the matter, My Lord. And uh, 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 Justice Kapoor has directed the opposite party to file an affidavit uh, in opposition and they have filed an affidavit. And after that, My Lord, I beg to fix a date uh, for hearing of... In this matter, I am appearing on behalf of Shebaid number one, My Lord. That his name is Mr. Ajay Kumar. Okay. Only. You are for the debate number one. One. Only one, my lord. What about the others? My lord, I appear for the all, all of the plaintiffs. I appear for the official trustee of West Bengal. Man. Official trustee. My lord, this is a property which is a heritage. They both are property, my lord. Official trustee is a trustee of the property, my lord. And there, is, there was a very deliberate negligence of what the settler has directed the official trustee and the suit. But you are not proceeding. You are not proceeding with the matter. The court has dismissed. No, my lord. It was justice. Justice Shoman Shen has uh, directed for an amicable settlement, my lord. Correct. And on returnable date, none has appeared. Not the opposite but party. Sir, and... your suit was dismissed on fourteenth November. My lord. Correct. My lord. And when you filed the application, my lord, the advocate who was appearing. Uh, uh, we have filed on 20th March 2022 after getting the information slip, my lord. Three years, after three years. My lord, one thing is that is uh, there was a COVID period. Uh. These All the Shebaites were very age old. They have communicated uh, to the previous advocate, but advocate have not uh, given any answer or communication. Then after they have uh, opted for an information slip and then they have come before this court. Yes, what is your objection? So this... Uh... I am leaving it to your lordship because this is a restoration application. Only the I have filed this affidavit in opposition on behalf of the uh, Shebaid number one. The, that is the, that matter would be settled by your lordship, the uh, subject to your the lordship the, at the time of hearing. But in affidavit... No, because affidavit in opposition connection with this only. Connection? No, uh, that, that, no, no. Main application. Main application. That is the CSOS uh, 6 of 2000. That, is, that was also directions. But the uh, lordships, uh, Justice Showman, and I, I think so. Lordship is because that I have given this opposition a reply also be filed by learned friends. So this is not connection with J one. No, this no, 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 no. an opposition no. as my lord an opposition. Just yes. a minute. Pardon, my lord. Pardon. Because J one uh, CS Achal. Yes. 
Yes, it is with regard to G1, which the restoration. I, yes, yes, my lord. I A G A number one of twenty twenty two, my lord. Restoration this, application. This is just I leave it to lot of this. No, this so affidavit you filed in connection with G A one only. No, no, no. I I have at uh, this lot of the I have filed this C S main application. That is C S O S six of twenty seventeen, my lord. C S O S six of seventeen, but that, that is. is that my lord this you mentioned iaga1 no that is i have not filed any opposition my lord not file no no i have not filed none. this opposition is to be taken as opposition to the csos written statement to the csos there was one opposition that has been filed by the official trustee my lord no that is in them law officer has filed the law please go through this because it is a j1 not in the CSOS. Yeah, it, it, uh, it, it official trustee. Okay. Official trustee. That has been filed by official trustee, my lord. Huh? Hello, that's why. Oh, they have that. I have not. Not by you. No, no, my lord. So, so who's appearing for the official trustee? This is appearing for the So, this is your affidavit. Another copy. Okay, my lord. Application. Where the application file for the Recalling. So and so, so and so appearing for the plaintiff. Did connection? So and so, so and so appearing for the. Opposition would have had to be done. Have to be See, by number one. And so and so, so and so appearing for the official trustee. The plaintiff has filed the present application being GA one of twenty twenty two. Praying for. Better reply. Reply. Ah, all opposition of the order dated. Zero to answer. Fourteenth number twenty nineteen. Okay, sir. Wherein this court? No, I am just saying. Bolche chhe. Dismissed. Restored. Okay, sir. 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 The previous consent who was dealing with the matter was not in a position to appear before this court, and accordingly, the same was also not informed to the plaintiffs. And the plaintiffs only came to know about the dismissal of the application on. When you came to know twentieth March twenty twenty two by the information slip, my lord. Twentieth March twenty twenty two, when the information slip was received by the defendant and plaintiffs, receipt slip was received by the plaintiffs. Police stop. Counsel for the plaintiffs submitted that the plaintiffs have filed the originating suit, seeking opinion. An advice of this court with regard to three questions, as mentioned in the print, and if the suit is not restored, comma, the plaintiffs will be badly prejudiced. Consider the submission made by the counsel for the plaintiff, as well as the defendants. This court find that that. This is the original originating suit filed by the plaintiffs and seeks an opinion and ad advice of this court. And as such, and as such, the plaintiffs should be given one opportunity by restoring this suit. I don't by restoring this suit in view of the above. The order dated 14th November 2019 is recalled. Stop. CSOS number 6 of 2017 is restored Man. in its original file. Full stop. GA number 1 of 2022 is thus disposed of. Grateful, my lord. Official trustee is better. Yes. Give the name. The department is directed 
to list CSOS number 6 of 2017 on 6th of May 2020. Lord Shri, instead of 6th of 7, can it be Lord Shri, subject to 8th May, can it be Lord Shri? This is my Lord Shri. 8th might be holiday, I think so. 8th, 9th May. 9th May. 9th May. 9th May. 9th Lord Shri, I'm deeply obliged to my Lord. Yes, next. Item 5, my lord, I do appear for the defendant numbers 1 and appear for the petitioner plaintiff, my lord. This appearing has appeared in the list, my lord, we mentioned. at my instance, my lord, yeah. because I had mentioned this matter. But I had mentioned this matter, my lord, for fixation hmm. of a date, my lord, for my application, which is, my lord, an application for judgment on admission, my lord. In fact, Lordship had substantially heard the petitioner, my lord, so far as this application is concerned, but they had taken out an application, my lord, for rejection of my plea. So therefore, that had to be heard first. That has been heard and dismissed, my lord. Now it is my application for judgment on admission, my lord. That is to be heard, my lord. So Lord Shri will kindly so fix the date, yes. my lord. I will make my submission with regard to his application, maintainability sure. of his application. You have to make submission. <laughs> yes. You have to make submission. Yes, my lord. Certainly, my lord. Not maintainable. <laughs> well, the suit was not maintained according to so, now the application. Suffering for the plaintiff, senses and suffering for the defendant. The matter is listed as to be mentioned on the prayer made by the consul for the plaintiff. It is submitted that the plaintiff has filed an application praying for judgment on admission. Yes. yes. Judgment on admission. Yes. And pleadings have been completed. Press for fixing the matter for hearing. In view of the submission made by the consul for the respective parties, list the matter on 7th May. 7th. Will it be a Lordship's pleasure, my lord, to fix that time as well? If, if only, only if your Lordship's diary permits, my lord. On, no, I am fixing only time with regard to the witness. Act. I understand. I understand. Grateful. Under the adjourn motion. Grateful, man. Next. And item number six, 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 my lord. This is my suit for a recovery of position, my lord. I have taken out an application under chapter 13 of the original side rules for the summary judgment. Okay. Defendants, defendants were the lessees of the property. Their tenure has expired in September 2020. 2020. I, have filed, I have filed a suit, my lord. No defense. My lord will take not more than five minutes to complete my arguments. Pleading not completed. Pleadings completed, my lord. Yes, madam. What is your submission? Pleadings completed, my lord. But my lord, uh, I am for the defendant and Mr. Dave will join virtually. He is there. He is joining virtually. And my lord, affidavits are completed. Uh, my lord, kindly fix a date for him. My lord, am I audible, my lord? My lord, am yes. I audible? Out. Out. What is the echo? Voice is echoing, my lord. Possibly echo. some problem. <laughs> now, my lord, Lord Chip can... Lord Chip can Lord hear me, Malad. Yes, I can hear you, but with the with the echo. Oh, I'm sorry, Malad. Malad, can you fix a date, Malad? Okay, okay, okay. No problem. I am fixing a date. I am fixing a date. Malad, maintainability of the suit has been kept open. Can you fix it any day? If it is already kept open, Malad. Now, Malad, I'm suffering for the plaintiff. Senses and suffering for the defendant. Police of the plaintiff has filed an application. What is your application number eight? No, no, no. Yeah. Five. 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 Five of Filed an application being GA5 of 2022, praying for judgment and admission. It is informed to this court that pleadings in connection with GA5 of 2022 is completed and is ready for hearing. In view of the submission made by the council for the respective parties, list the matter on 7th May for hearing of five of GA5 of 2022. Is the matter on 7th May under the adjourn motion? Next, great. Eight. Eight, eight, my lord. So many to be mentioned. Archer Vansal versus what? My lord, in this matter, I do appear for the plaintiffs. My item number, item number eight, my lord. Seven is over. Seven, kill. Oh, no, seven, why the correction is mentioned? Wrongly. 
Yes. On uh, item number eight, my lord, uh, I do appear for yes. the plaintiffs, my lord. My lord, will kindly take up the last order on eighth of April, twenty twenty-three. April or twenty-fourth April. Last order is twenty fourth April. Twenty fourth April, twenty twenty three. There was a direction for a substituted service because the defendants were not appearing, and so we have already made a paper publication, my lord, in the Times of India, my lord. My lord, we kindly take 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 this on record, and my lord, fix the matter under the heading undefended suit. No, which which suit? CS two two eighty five. Two eighty five. Already filed the affidavit. Uh, this is the affidavit of uh, service, my lord, my lord, enclosing the paper publication. Here also. Oh, two. Uh, they have made, made two. Yes, yes. Then, no. Yes. Data different. The dates are different. One only one publication. It's too costly, my lord. Can't may afford to make two publications. Because can you see the twenty fourth April? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Original paper containing publication of photographs relating to the fixation. Yes, sir. I filed a part of affidavit taken on record. Nations endorsement the steps according to the substituted service. Uh, uh, some mistakes is there. Okay, whatever. Data. it means. Yes, now what do you want? My Lord, will kindly keep this matter as under the but heading. Have you taken the report after the yes. publication they entered appearance? Yes, my Lord. This is the my Lord report, my Lord, from the register. Okay. Enter appearance. They have none has entered appearance on behalf of the defendants. Plaintiff has filed the affidavit of no, service wait. by enclosing the paper publication showing that the notice of the suit has been published for the information of the defendant. Let the affidavit enclosing the paper publications be kept with a record. Counsel for the plaintiff has also handed over. The report issued by the deputy registrar within Beckett Legal dated 8th April 2024, wherein it reveals that defendants have not entered appearance either in person or through advocate. Let the report be kept to the record. In view of the above, in view of the above, CS number 285-2022 B. Listed in the uh, listed as undefendant suit on a certain date, madam. We'll fix a date and a time. Let, I will the matter up, let the matter appear on 9th May 2024 for witness action. Full stop. In the meantime, the plaintiff is directed to file judge's brief of doubt at two o'clock, my lord. Then I will bring my witness as well along with the judge. Bring on that date uh, on the ninth. Nine. If my lord fixes a time with the witness action, I will bring the plaintiff along with the judge's brief of document, tender the five documents, and I will. Ninth main time is there. Two or or I will, I will appoint the advocate commissioner. Examine too costly, my lord. My lord has. What is the costly? No, it's costly, my lord. Who are taking the landlord cannot afford my lord or advocate commissioner? My lord's the order will get the benefit, uh, not for a wealthy player landlord or poor landlord, my lord. Okay, come on, ninth. We'll see. Ninth. I am not that uh, time, but I will take next. My lord, in the night item number nine. Uh, an advocate appear entered appearance thereafter, my lord. He did not file any written statement, my lord. This is a report, my lord. Sole defendant. Sole defendant has entered appearance on the 17th of 2023 through Mr. Advocate. But where is the written statement report? No written statement, my lord. Where Till is that? 8th of April 2024, entered appearance on on 17th April 2023. Thereafter, one year, my lord, nearly one That's year. No? Correct. This is with regard to the entered appearance. Where is the written, uh, written statement report? No, not filing. No, where is the report? This is the 8th of April 2024. 8th of April certified the defendant entered appearance on 17th April oh. through that so and so, -so, -and -so advocate. Okay. Where is the report that they have not filed? It written, a, statement? A written statement. Current record department has to give the report certificate, certificate no. on the basis of the ledger whether the written yeah, statement is entered or not. My lord, then my lord, if my lord intends to after a week, uh, one week we will bring with we'll bring that certificate from you. The take list. also. I am not taking on record. You bring that on the record one line, my lord. Okay, you give it. What is it, my lord? 
son so son suffering for the plaintiff and an appeal on behalf of the defendant. Plaintiff has filed the report issued by the deputy registrar within bracket legal dated 8th April 2024, wherein it reveals that the defendant had entered appearance to the learner advocate on 17th April 2022, 2023. Good. So, counsel for the plaintiff submit that the defendant entered appearance on 17th April 2023, but till date, Sorry. you know, April 2023, 17th, sorry. But till date, no written statement is filed. This court finds that there is no report from the concern department to ascertain whether the defendant had filed written statement or not. Full stop. Counsel for the plaintiff prays for a week time to obtain report from the department to ascertain whether the defendant had filed written statement or not. In view of the submission made by the counsel for the plaintiff, the case adjourned for a week. Please the matter on 30th April. Sufficient. We will obtain Next. Grateful. Grateful man. Over for the day, man. Mention. My lord, in 10, I'm appearing for the petitioner, my lord. Yes. In this matter, my lord, we have filed two applications. One is for injunction, one is for uh, judgment, judgment upon admission. admission, my lord. The When the matter was taken up, none appeared. Then later they appeared, they gave a proposal that they will give the money. They like to settle the matter. They will not give any affidavit. So in January, they have given the money. February, they gave in March. March... They have not faced so far. So, no, March and April is due, my lord. It's come on my insert. Let it come for hearing, my lord. Who is for the defender? Nobody. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Shumanto Bishwas, my lord. We have given him notice. We'll even give him notice, my lord. Son, so, son, so, appearing for the plaintiff, none appears on the defendant. Full stop. The plaintiff has filed two applications, being GA1 of 2023, praying for judgment upon admission, and another application for. Interim prayer. Counsel for the plaintiff press for fixing the matter after a week. In view of the submission made by the counsel for the plaintiff, the case adjourned for two weeks. Please the matter on 30th April. Grateful, my lord. I'll give a notice under the heading adjourn motion. Grateful, my lord. Next. Your Lordship, I'm appearing uh, on behalf of the plaintiff. Uh, this is my application for injunction. Uh, I've served... Uh, item number? Item number 11, Your Lordship. Yes. Your Lordship... Uh, for the plaintiff? Yes, Your Lordship. Who is for the defendant? Have you served? Uh, Your Lordship, I have served uh, the application to my defendants. However, uh, we have not received the track report as of yet. So I'm unable to file my affidavit of service right now, but I can show you the... Track report of the application? Yes, Your Lordship. Application number? Uh, no, uh, track report of the post, uh, Your Lordship. Correct. Application. What is the application number? GA1, Your Lordship. On to GA1 hai? Listing hai? GA1 list hai? So you want time? Uh, Lordship, uh, I'll uh, uh, as soon as I receive the track report, I'll uh, file my affidavit of service kindly. Uh, if you could list the matter on 16th of April, I've already uh, 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 posted the. Uh, 16th the... April is tomorrow. 16th April, Your Lordship. 16th... Tuesday. Yes, Your Lordship. Sensor sensor suffering for the plaintiff. Sensor sensor suffering for the. Oh, no. Sensor sensor suffering for the plaintiff. None of person of the defendant. Police counsel for the plaintiff submitted that the plaintiff has filed an application being GA1. Yes, GA1. Of 24. 24, yes, your lordship. For uh, 23, GA1 of 23, your lordship. Uh, um, it, for injunction. Praying for interim. Really. Counsel for the plaintiff submitted that the plaintiff has sent the application to the defendant by its speed post, but the defendant, but the plaintiff has not received the track report and accordingly press for time. In way of the submission made by the counsel for the plaintiff, the case is adjourned. Let the matter appear on 22nd April, not 16th. 
okay your lord grateful your lord second april 2024 under the heading new motion next grateful lord well my application but this is uh, appearing as my students for lord this is what is the this is an applicable lord this is an application for lord modification of the terms of an existing lease the application has been filed by the administrator general and official trustee of west bengal lord what has happened my lord and le a lease was given my lord uh, on 27 day of february 2004 in respect of a property in punditia road my lord and now lord that that is person to the leave granted by this honorable court now lord in town the lessee has been play regularly playing rent my lord lease rent to, to the official trustee that is to the now presently the lease rent is to the tune of 15400 and not per month and there is also my lord a premium deposited of 15 lakhs now lord the shebais of this particular trust from where lord, the property belongs to lord the shebais then made a representation to the lessee that with these lease rent <clears throat> is not sufficient to conduct the daily sheva puja and thereafter my lord deliberations took place while between the shebais and my lord the lessee in the presence of the official trustee also and my lord the lessee subsequently agreed to enhance the terms of the lease by depositing more money they want to deposit 1 crore as premium further And well, Lord, they enhance the rent from fifteen thousand four hundred as of today to twenty one thousand. So this is one. No, it's not being opposed by any of the parties. So as humbly praying, Lord, it will take only five minutes of lordship time. Only for well, the application uh, is required to be allowed by modifying the term, uh, allow, allowing us to well modify the terms of the lease. And I'm for the respondent number two to ten. Well, I'm not objecting to it as such, but kindly keeps the matter any day after seventeenth. Well, why seventeenth or any day? Why if not objecting? <laughs> Malat has to hear the matter, Malat, since it is a uh, Malat has to be satisfied about the terms, man. Now, if the terms are indicated, I appear for the lessee respondent number one, page thirteen. Your lordship, all the terms are indicated. Para forty-seven. One of the basic terms, man, which are being changed, I'm not lordship will find, or I can show it from Malat in the lease itself. This But, they wanted to include lordship, lordship. There will be a enhancement, lordship, the and there will be a deposit of an yes, amount yes. of rupees one crore. Lordship, these are the lordship. Lordship. And our state. So this is not being allowed. You are the lessee. Lessee. And you are ready to. Lordship. Yes, yes. Lordship. Yes, yes. And you are ready to accept. Lordship. And who are you now being? Shivai. I am for the Shivai. Shivai, it's my lord. The respondent number two to ten, man. Well, I am not objecting. It is, it is only at their instance, my lord. These uh, deliberations took place. Well, they represented that. Uh, Seventeen or any other day, my lord. After seventeen, my lord has to hear out, my lord, the terms, my lord. The my lord, one of them on humble frame, lord. Nineteenth next Friday, my lord. Can we keep it at one p.m., my lord? It will only take, my lord, five minutes. So, my lordship. It's already fixed, I think. So and so, so and so appearing for the print. Or two p.m., my lord. Nineteenth, two p.m., three p.m. Any time, my lord. Nineteenth. Nineteenth is Friday, my lord. Next Friday. Concerned. You are appearing for the Mr. Madam. You are appearing for the respondent number. Appearing for respondent number one. Respondent number one, and you are for, for two to ten, my lord. Respondents two to ten. And this concerned to respondent number two to ten. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Since it is not being opposed, we so don't take more than five minutes, my lord. The... Or can it be on eighteenth? While it's subject to lots of questions. So nineteenth will be easier for me, but then some personal difficulty on seventeenth or eighteenth. Okay, Lordship. 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 Okay, L
Malad, only two Shabites, and they have taken a board resolution. There is no other Shabite that will satisfy you, Lordship Malad, on the uh, on reading of the Arpunama. There is nobody to oppose Malad. Lordship and takes it up today or can take it up any day at any time, Malad, so that I can address not more than 15 minutes, Malad, it will take. And board resolution, Malad, uh, I also, Malad, annex. No, Malad, I'm sorry, Malad, the board re resolution, Malad, I could not annex, but I prepared a supplementary affidavit if Lordship Malad grants me leave today, I can file it. Because normally, Malad, the court is inclined to see the resolution. There is nobody is opposing. Sons of sons appearing for the petitioner. Nobody is the opposite side? No. Nobody, Malad. Two Shabites, Malad, by virtue of the Orpon Nama, two of them, Malad, have come forward, Malad. There is... Petitioner has filed the supplementary affidavit by enclosing the board re the resolution the resolution it's not a board resolution resolution taken by the shibites resolution signed by the shibites let the same be cut with the record counsel for the petitioner raise for time in view of the submission made by the counsel for the petitioner let the matter appear on well, it is my application is happening in my instance. Well, this is an application that well, I mentioned before a lot. Ship the application by the administrator general and official trustee will well, in respect of a property in Barabazar. Well, lot she will kindly look into well, the last order of 28th of February 2024. I'm only praying for an extension of this order on well, the time to cause the publication by we due to the fact that we well, after the passing of this order, well, the of the Indian official administrator general and official trustee has since been transferred. And well, the new income model is likely to join as by my instruction well, next week. So as I'm replaying, well, kindly, uh, the date was returnable, matter was made returnable on 10th of April. Because whatever tenders we receive pursuant to well, the publication, well, we are as per direction of this order, we have to produce all those tenders on sealed envelope well, before this honorable court. So well, uh, since well, the uh, administration and official trust has been transferred, well, the publication could not be made. The new income will join next week. Will kindly extend the time by four weeks. Instead of 10th April, it may be 10th May. Will subject to my last kind. The official trust. <laughs> so, you are for the state? Yes, sir. Okay. For the state. Yes, I am aware of the fact. Council for the official trustee. Submit that the Officer trustee could not comply with the order passed by this court dated 28 February 2024 by publication. By way of publication due to transfer of the official trustee. Sponsor for the official trustee submit that the new official trustee will be joining duty within a week. But he will join next week. That's my instructions. He prays for for the four weeks time yes. to comply with the order dated 28 February 2024. Maybe 10th May instead of 10th. In view of the submission made by the council for the official trustee, time to comply with the order dated 28 February 2024 is extended till 10th May 2024. And since these uh, tenders will have to be produced before lordship, kindly fix the time below when the when it can take up the matter as per my convenience. Let the matter appear before this court on 11th of June 2020. 11 June. 11, 11 June. Not sure. Because, so, because that date I already indicated Millard in the newspaper publication also. So that, 10th I am given complete this and all, all these things come on 10th, uh, 11th June. 11 June. So 11 June that date I kindly fix the time because I have to indicate that in the paper in publication. The yes. In the publication, because that date has to be so instead of 10th May, let it be on 11th June. No, not no, you have to give the uh, any time is fixed by the court. No, 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 no time is not fixed, only the returnable date is fixed by the court. So I, I am fixing a returnable date on 10th May. You 10th May, so if I'm able to do that, yes, yes, we'll be able to do it. Uh -huh. So I am fixing on 10th May. Let to come first, you what complete this, then we'll see to that 10th May. No, only thing is since the lot the tenders, whatever we received. The direction is there that has to produce. 
by 10th may you publish it whatever the tender you keep with you gotcha. if you're not able then i will extend the gotcha. time to gotcha. place gotcha. The, all the tenders gotcha. on the next time gotcha. on the next date gotcha. Tenth. Gotcha. with the order dated till 10th let the matter appear on 10th yes next Millard suit for Millard money. Millard out of Millard five defendants. Millard four are within. Yes. Out of six Millard four are within. Millard two outside. Real estate. Yes. Two are outside. Millard uh, five and six are outside. Now Millard checks received within. Millard letters received within jurisdiction. Millard, I am praying for Millard, leave under Millard, chapter by uh, clause 12 and Millard, uh, order to rule 2. Checks are dishonored within. What is the case? Damn Millard, uh, development agreement. So, how, how before this court? Yeah, why not commercial? Millard, I checked. Millard, I was just Millard, I checked. Infrastructure agreement will come under Millard. It's a Millard. Only development of a residential, uh, residential, residential, yes, residential flat. Is it mentioned as a residential? Residential flats. User is also not uh, That's commercial. Right. If it is development for the of a of a flat. Okay. Yes, residential only a commercial flat. Uh, sorry, multi-storied building. Multi-storied. I checked, Milad. I was. See, your tongue is. No, 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 my tongue. <laughs> no, my tongue is not Milad. It's a Milad, not an infrastructural project. Nothing. It's a Milad. The cause of action. Milad, cause of action is Milad. My will fine. Millard uh, non pay Millard not refunding Millard a sum of rupees 2.50 CR. My little fine Millard at page 26, para 50. I have given the Millard uh, causes of uh, action that arise in within and outside. The paragraphs I have Millard mentioned, page 26, para 50. Now Millard kindly takes Millard page 25, para 46. Get yeah, that all gone. Okay. Clause 12 and Millard uh, order to rule. And we stamp uh, Millard uh, entire 50,000 paid. That is good. Thing. And Millard, uh, Millard GA1, it is appearing with GA1. My will allow me to withdraw that GA1. Millard, there is some inherent mistake in the. That can, uh, it's liberty to file a fresh Millard. It's appearing for the printing. The case is fixed today for presentation of print. Consider the submission made by the council for the printing. Produce the print and the document. Print is admitted. Subject to scrutiny by the department. Leave and clause 12 of the letter patent. Order to rule. And order to rule to is granted. And Miller GA1 Miller may be allowed to withdraw. Would leave it to file a fresh Miller. For the printing, place for withdrawal of GA1 of 2023 with the liberty to file, file a fresh. fresh. On the sales same cause. Leave is granted to the plaintiff to withdraw the GA1 of 2020 with the liberty to file the fresh on the same cause of action. Obliged. Next. Hello, the, this is a suit for partition uh, and accounts, and uh, two of the properties are outside the jurisdiction of this uh, honorable court. Mm -hmm. Properties outside of the court. Yes, ma'am. There are total parties six are properties. Within jurisdiction. Parties, parties are within the jurisdiction. Parties are within the jurisdiction. Yes. How many properties are there? There are total six properties. Out of two of out, out of this Five court. Hata. Yes. Then? Hello. Cause of action arose from 2002. This B and C. Item number 16. G. Why P A C S? Which property is outside of the? Uh, my lord, the, there are two properties, two lands in Gai Ghata, not 24 Parganas. My lord, in uh, page number four of the plane, 
प्लॉट मेजरिंग टेन कटर्स एंड अनदर लैंड मेजरिंग फोर बिघर्स Well, two thousand two it starts, and uh, lastly in two thousand twenty three, when the legal notice was sent. Two thousand two, the plaintiff's husband, plaintiff number one's husband, and partition suit. Partition suit. Grant. My lord, uh, kindly direct to uh, submit the court fees of fifty thousand. On file. My lord, what? it is uh, it is ready with me, but they are not accepting without the direction of this honourable court. There's no report. You not file the court fee. Now the system. last occasion. Uh, His lordship had directed to file the court fees, but I am ready with the court fees. But they are not allowing me to file because without the direction of this honourable court. So and so, so and so, appearing for the plaintiff. So and so, so and so, appearing for the uh, no, appearing for the plaintiff. Police to uh, the plaintiff has filed the suit for partition. Suit for partition. Partition. And uh, accounts. Permanent injunction and accounts. Partition, comma permanent injunction, and accounts. Good is to consider the submission made by the counsel for the plaintiff. I'll use the print and the document. Leave under clause twelve of the letter patent is granted. Suit is admitted. Subject to scrutiny by the department. Counsel for the plaintiff, please for leave. To deposit the court fee, plaintiff is given liberty to deposit the court fee within a week from date. Deeply obliged. Next, and I am appearing for the plaintiff. This is my suit. I am presenting the plaint for the in the suit with regard to uh, defamation allegations of defamation and praying for compensation along with injunction. Over the defendant, my lord, the suit, my lord, the cause of action in respect of the suit, suit for defamation, suit for defamation, cause of action, civil defamation, defamation, civil defamation in the nature, the particular defendant is a shareholder of the company mm -hmm. and has been writing to various authorities such as SEBI, National Stock Exchange, and Bombay Stock Exchange, indicating that there are discrepancies in the uh, particular management. Whereas the management has been uh, carrying on business in a regular and usual what manner, my lord, I am only praying for leave under clause twelve because the defendant is, my lord, the there is that is the only issue, my lord. There is pleadings at paragraph forty three, but in the prayer it is absent. My lord will kindly grant me liberty to make that correction by hand in the plaint, my lord. My lord, I'm. This has. Have you the, got the scrutiny from the uh, before? Uh, my lord, I do not know. My lord, after when this my brief came to me, then I real saw and realize. Even concise statement also there is no prayer. There is no prayer, my lord. Yes. It, it ought to have been there, but there has been some and inadvertent error because the pleadings are there at page forty three. My lord, I have already pleaded. Filing department. My lord, at page forty three, I have already pleaded for leave under clause twelve. All the pleadings are there with regard to Where the jurisdiction. My lord, uh, page forty three, the cause of action, the page part 40, that has forty three. Uh, uh, sorry, page sixteen, paragraph forty three. My lord, my lord, I have indicated that uh, the part of it has uh, the part that has arisen within and the part that has arisen outside. With regard to that, I have indicated the paragraphs eighteen and twenty four is what has arisen within. And no, the, that is correct. Where, yes, where you but the prayer that? is not there. I have, in, I have seen that, my lord. Where is what? the where is the averment with regard to the leave also? There is no because my lord, it is part has arisen outside. I would be requiring leave under clause twelve. But the last sentence part of the cause of action has arisen within this jurisdiction. Therefore, this court would have territorial jurisdiction to try. But my lord, the leave is my lord. May kindly grant me liberty to the print, uh, submit that. do the matter is fixed today for presentation of print but after going through the print the plaintiff came to know that inadvertently the plaintiff has not prayed for leave under clause 12 of the letter patent act in the prayer portion as well as in the concise statement so mr counsel for the plaintiff prays for leave to add the prayer in the prayer portion of the print as well as in the concise statement for adding the prayer for leave under clause 12 of the letter patent leave is granted the plaintiff and leave is granted plaintiff is directed to 
add the prayer in the prayer portion of the print and in, in the Kantal statement in course of the day. Leave the matter tomorrow under the same heading. Next. Well, I appear for the plaintiff. I am opposing this application. Well, the application is uh, this application is my application. For? I'm for different number one, two, and three. For what is the application? But, uh, I, I'll tell Lordship in nutshell, my Lord. Uh, from from the beginning of this proceeding, Lord, from 2013 to 2024, all along, these three defendants are the primary defendants in this suit. They have appeared from beginning till now, every day. Seven except, Lord, that one day of 25th, Lord, January 2024, Lord, we got stuck in another courtroom at the same time this matter was called upon by your Lordship and Lord, uh, Lordship at page 15, Lordship would get that order, Lord. Lordship had been uh, pleased to observe that these defendants are absent, so Lord, suit to be Lord, proceeded ex parte against them. Uh, in the at page 16 of that uh, order, Milot. Next page, in view, the last paragraph. Page 16. Yes. In view of the above, late had proceeded as undefended suit against defendant number 1, 2, 3. I am concerned with 1, 2, 3. 4, 7, 8, 10, I am not concerned. 1, 2, 3, I have been appearing all throughout. My you landfriend would not disagree, Milot. My Lord, it's not as simple as well. Uh, to file affidavit. Uh, this, uh, Lord, I, is my Lord, Lordship, if my Lord kindly takes Lordship's order, my Lord. My Lord, only my Lord, thing I'm... Well, uh, my Lord, Lordship finish. did not uh, make the suit ex parte as against my learned friend's client, my Lord, because of non-appearance of my learned friend. Why my Lord uh, made it, my Lord? Was uh, because of the certificate uh, issued by this learned sheriff, my Lord. My Lord, I'm surprised how my, my learned friend is appearing today, my Lord. He has not even filed his Vakalatama. May I, may I indicate, my Lord? That is what his I... His Vakalatama is also not there. May I, that is why I said, Lord, let me, Lord, first place my fix. Thereafter, my learned friend will have his turn. Okay. Lord, I have but also... There's, there's... Then, my Lord will kindly grant me liberty because, my Lord... Well, it's very These are the orders which have been passed, which I need... All in my presence. These are... All in yes, my yes, presence. Yes, yes. So, Lord, it can't be I was not interested from 2013 to 24. I've been contesting this. Contesting and... The... But it will only his suit. because Lord, I am saying this is a commercial suit. That's why his suit. Yes, Lord, his suit. Lord, it's otherwise a bad suit because it's a commercial suit filed in the regular division. Because my learned friend can have an Sons audience Sons today. Plenty. But I feel it is a service filed in the regular. Uh, Sons are Sons appearing for the defendant. Defend number one, two, and four. One, two, three. One, one, two, three, one two, and three. One, Not two, four. And three has filed an application being G A ten of twenty twenty four, praying for recalling of the order dated. 25th of January 2024 and allowing the defendant number 123 to proceed with the suit. Counsel for the plaintiff place for time to file affidavit in opposition. Let affidavit in opposition be filed within two, two weeks. weeks well. Reply if any there to be filed within two a week thereafter. Yes, yes, one week. Right. Within one week thereafter. Please the matter on 3rd May 2020. Lord, affidavit of service be kept in record. Affidavit of service filed by the my lord, my lord, one instruction. Item number 26 of my lord's list. Mm. Uh, I am the receiver in the matter. Mm. I had filed my report on the 1st of April. Mm. Now, I was supposed to make certain uh, observations so that to assist my lord. Now, uh, on Monday, I wouldn't be available for some personal difficulty. Now, I am getting some calls. I am supposed to make some payments. For certain reasons, I am not being able to do so. My Lord, kindly keep the matter on Tuesday so that I can come and explain. Item number? 26. 26. As per the prayer made by the receiver. Receiver. My the... Lord, I am item number 47. I Monday, I will also not... There is, as per the application, as per the prayer made by the council, um, as per the prayer made by the receiver. receiver my Lord. The case is John. Let the matter appear on. 16. 20, on 16. 16, man. Grateful. Great. My, my lord, so far as item number 20 is concerned, my lord, I am only beseeching your lordship for an extension of time to file my reply, my lord. Let's let come tomorrow. I could... yes. 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 Yes.